so somebody may will ask someone to <laughs> do that right or i uh, can no problem i okay. i'll uh, even i'll, I'll also check sir but uh, right hmm. i think best is to keep a alarm on the phone so let me just do that and just do that yes so we'll start with uh, uh, where we left yesterday uh dr sweet and right yeah not at rajesh rajeshwari right If she is there, the rules for everybody. Nothing complicated. So everybody has uh, ten minutes to be present. Uh, okay, we will stop at, at ten minutes, so that means yeah, around nine minutes. Yeah, yeah. And give it back on around nine minutes. You can start winding up. And sir, your minutes. voice, sir, your voice is not even clear. It is breaking up. Okay. No. Is it better now? Pulchan, Pulchan, sir, please uh, switch off your mic. Is it better now? Pulchan, sir, please switch off your mic. Yes, sir. Is it voices better now? Yes, sir. Or the yes, same? Sir. Okay, okay. So thank you. Anyway, my voice is yes, not the yes. main voice today, so it's okay if you can just get the sense of what I'm saying. So ten minutes for per participant. So therefore, what we request is uh, preferably by ninth minute if you try to wind up. then we can you can positively close by the 10th minute and then we have some you know 10 minutes 15 minutes at the end for presentation for uh, discussion sorry i'll request participants to keep a track of the time i'll also keep a track of the time it's 146 now anybody has any questions otherwise we can start off with the presentations we will go in the same order at this as has been provided in the you know document that uh, govindan sir has shared so uh, from 9 number onward till uh, 16 number we will have today uh, in this session yeah so any questions from anybody any doubts you can either uh, ask mute and ask or you can type in the chat window also yes sir let's start sir if there is any question let yes. them post it Fine. in the i agree i agree right yes now. yes i agree dr p rajeshwari will speak on financial management your time starts now it's 147 now 157 156 you can end dr rajeshwari please start you can if you have presentation you can share screen and present Yes, I can hear you. Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, it is visible. You can make it bigger if you. It's possible view full screen if you do. It may be a little bit bigger, but it's visible. Okay. I think I can also make it full screen. Then it's fine. I could have just shown it, sir. My weekend topic is financial management. So it is one of the business function. It deals with financial resources to get success. So I read the introductions about that. Uh, finance is a flow of money. We know that management is to control or manage it. So how to manage the money of fund in the organization? That's all. So I'll make an image for that. And after uh, my second image is about financial management. It is a meaning. and why it is important in the organization so it is better to plan financial about that and how to invest and i have to uh, invest the funds that are effectively implementing and uh, making a financial decisions and to make more profit and stable economic stability that's all right. and some of the scope of financial management and the one that is video so i play the video sir or You have ten minutes within that song, dance, music. Everything is welcome. Ma'am, you are not audible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can increase. It. Yeah, you can increase your volume. I can hear you, but you can increase your volume a bit. No problem.
Madam, sorry, little louder and slower, please. I can hear you, but sometimes I'm not able to understand. If you can increase your input volume or you lay, raise your own volume, madam, little louder. Sir, now, now how? Yes, now it's louder, madam. Yeah, maintain that. Thank you, madam, for the presentation. You took less than seven minutes, so uh, you stuck to your time. Uh, but I think maybe you can take a minute more. And one question I want to ask everybody is making content. We always do as faculty. We make our lessons and we also, you know, do the assignments and all that. This course specially is on e-content. Of course, you have shared, you have talked about a video and you have got quizzes, digital quiz and all. But can you maybe take a minute to explain in what way the e-content or the digital content will make a difference to your course? Because without the digital also, you can have a course or a program on financial management. In what way are you using the financial uh, digital to make a difference to your course on 
financial management. Can you just maybe take a minute or two to speak and then we'll go to the next person. Is my question clear, madam? Sir? Is my question clear? Should I repeat? Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah. What I'm saying is, it's a very nicely presented course on financial management, various aspects of financial management you have brought into the program. My question is, this is a special course on e-content or digital content. So okay. in what way this whole financial management can be taught without digital also? So now with the digital, in what way is your course going to be richer? In what way is the course going to be more valuable or interesting for the learner? Maybe you can you take one minute to explain that, madam? Yeah, yeah. How are you using the digital to make? Yeah, go ahead. It's more interesting about that. We give the financial reports, give the images and the uh, mm. details about, in the various versions they have the details about that uh, the, where the companies to be invested in physically mm. the students are very interesting in uh, maybe in the videos or in images they have to be uh, keep that low so mm. they will be more interested about that in a particular subject okay thank you uh, dr shabna had raised her hand is it something you want to speak about now or is it by mistake or can you type in the chat? Dr. Shabna? Okay, maybe that was by mistake. So let us thank you so much for your presentation on financial management, Dr. Rajeshwari. We will go to the next presentation, which is uh, by Dr. Jamuna Devi and it's on e-commerce. Yes, sir. I'm audible, sir. You had asked... Yes, you had, you had asked a question or something, madam. You had raised your hand. That's why I asked. No, sir. I'm, I'm Jamuna Devi, sir. No, no problem. No problem. By mistake, no, it sir, no, happened. Sir. Oh, Jamuna Devi is talking. Sorry, okay, sorry. Sir. Go ahead, madam. You can share screen and present. Okay, sir. That raised hand was still there. Okay, so I got confused. Please go ahead, madam. Okay, On e-commerce, your presentation. Your voice is loud and clear. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, madam, you can start. One second, sir. One second, sir. Yeah, yeah. You can share screen and if you have a presentation, you want to show something, please go ahead. Your time has started ticking. Any difficulties, madam? So, sir, one second, sir. So, it's visible, sir. Screen. My screen is visible. Yes, madam. It's coming now. Okay, sir. My thank four you. Seconds. Thank you. Go okay. ahead, madam. So, good afternoon to all. I'm Dr. Jamuna Devi, working as the assistant professor of commerce, um, ADM College for uh, Women, now Patnam. I'm from Tamil Nadu. Now I discuss about uh, my course uh, topic is e-commerce. First of all, uh, I, I explained uh, my concept mapping. In this course, I have I explained uh, some information about uh, e-commerce. Uh, first one is function of uh, e-commerce. Then advantages of uh, e-commerce, scope of uh, e-commerce and uh, disadvantages of e-commerce. Now I explained the uh, now I explained the uh, functions of e-commerce in this uh, function of uh, e-commerce, uh, content registration, uh, basket, payment, uh, product management, order management, GST and shipping. And then uh, next uh, uh, advantages of uh, e-commerce it uh, contained advantages of organization advantages to consumer advantage advantages to uh, uh, society. society next i uh, created a course of uh, e-commerce settings basic uh, configuration and uh, set the layout inside the course uh, text image video also to the student This uh, I give a video from uh, YouTube. 
and then in this category is uh, highlighted to the advantages of e-commerce next next i give a hidden uh, from the student uh, from a category drawback of e-commerce and i have added uh, one more activity uh, resources i have added the announcement assignment your link quiz uh, shall i have uh, go to explain assignment sir yes madam you can you have only taken 3 minutes so far you have 10 minutes okay, so sir. you have a lot of time please take your time you each of okay, us has 10 minutes please use the okay, full sir. 10 minutes to present your topic you have taken only 3 minutes so far madam okay sir thank you sir in this assignment uh, i just uh, added uh, some assignment to have or some uh, parameter in this assignment uh, um, topic is show on the time date how many numbers are uh, participated submitted this kind of information also show on this sir next then uh, then i explained click uh, click here to the open uh, scope of scope of e-commerce this website is here and at this link uh, Show us the scope of e-commerce. Scope of uh, later to the uh, scope of e-commerce. Sir. Next, I give a quiz. Uh, quiz attempt this quiz by ended by the uh, the day. And this uh, quiz, I give a quiz. Which one of the scope of uh, e-commerce? Pages. So e-commerce based on the mode. Other questions. That's it, sir. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Jamna Devi. So. Uh, we'll have of course open discussion later on and in a way since participants are taking lesser time we'll have more time for discussions which is good only but two comments i wanted to make for not only the two people who are presented so far but also for other presenters not necessarily that you are going to cover in your presentation because obviously what i'm saying if you are not incorporated you won't have time to work on your presentation now but i think from your completion of whatever you are doing as e content two important parameters are there which i found missing in the first two presentations i'm just sharing as feedback please don't mind just for our common learning okay, first important uh, first important thing is that see when we say e content and when, when we say online it is not only that the faculty is having the benefit of uh, accessing the internet uh, faculty can create the material using digital tools but also the students that in your in your colleges the students are also going to have access to the internet and I also studied financial management. I am a commerce, uh, you know, I am a chartered accountant, basically by background. So commerce is my uh, area that I worked in. When I studied my uh, bachelor's and master's in commerce, we didn't have internet, so therefore we were only restricted to the textbook that we had been given. You know, there is a chapter, there is a paper on commerce, there is a paper on accounting, there is a paper on economics. 
So whatever the textbook, we should learn the textbook and we used to answer the questions in the exam based on what is there in the textbook only. But with the online, the biggest advantage is, for example, if you take a topic like e-commerce, what you can do is you can give your students project work instead of, see, anybody can memorize what is the content in the textbook and write the exam. Actually, for that, we are not, faculty is not really required. If I can be brutally frank, our job is not really to explain only what is in the textbook because that the bright students can read the textbook and understand. But if you can give them some challenging assignments. So in e-commerce, for example, if you take the Indian context, there is this whole problem of uh, Amazon, uh, Flipkart, the competition between them. There is also this, you know, future retail. I don't know if that uh, uh, name is familiar. Future retail has been taken over by Reliance and Reliance is trying to also bring its Reliance digital e-commerce uh, business along with the, uh, you know, the brick and mortar retail business. So if you are able to, as a project, ask students to analyze why Flipkart, what is the advantage of Flipkart over Amazon or Amazon or Flipkart, they can even do a simple uh, study of uh, consu consumers. Even that study they can do online. They can find out some from their own friends and relatives. They can run an online survey and find out who is preferring Flipkart, why who's preferring, preferring Amazon, what are the challenges with Amazon or Flipkart? What are the rules governing e-commerce in India? You know, uh, in what ways e-commerce is impacting the regular retailers because they're all complaining. Many people have complained against Amazon. There is a case against Amazon in the Competition Commission of India. So what I'm suggesting to Dr. Jamuna, and that is a suggestion to everybody, not only to Dr. Jamuna, is the online is not only for the faculty to refer to create content, but even more than that, powerfully than that, it allows the students to access a whole worldwide web to learn anything about e-commerce. The it is not restricted to whatever is even the syllabus or you know whatever you have been given in your university. So if you can in the assignments, if that can come through, actual practical assignments by which commerce is the world of practice. Commerce is a practical world out there. The business world every day we are in it. Uh, you know. So therefore, how do we al allow students to experience the real world of commerce? Uh, through the web is something that you can think of similarly for the financial management recently we all know about some banks are you know closing down so in america one of the 20 largest banks silicon valley bank it closed down and uh, now they're telling another bank uh, uh, which i'm forgetting the name another bank is also going to uh, close down so what is this banks because banks is all about finance bank is actually about financing the requirements of the business so what is the financial management activities of these banks, which has led to the closure of the bank? So that can be a project work that you can give us an assignment in the course itself. Basically, what I'm saying in your assignments, in your teaching, in your content, liberate yourself from some confines that we may have about the textbook. Allow the students to connect to the web and bring the reality of the commerce world into your teaching learning. Sorry, it was a very long uh, feedback. Does it make sense, Dr. Uh, Jamuna, any suggestions, any feedback from you? And then Dr. Rajeshwari, I want to ask after that. Yes, Dr. Jamuna, what does it make sense? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Dr. Rajeshwari, you wanted to say yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, sir. It's a lot about the hmm. journal. I just hmm. asked. Sir, I, uh, we give the problems in a way. Which size is the best hmm. to do this, sir? So, can you repeat? I didn't, I didn't hear you clearly. Louder, can you tell? Tell madam, tell loudly, I can hear. Sir, uh, sir. Hmm. sir, I give the most uh, problems and solutions. So which side okay. is equal sir? See, for, for commerce topics, for no, commerce sir. topics, for commerce topics, you will get lots of content online, no madam, because your business papers, your business publications, no, economist, no, Sums and solutions. I give. I'm oh, fi financial management. Financial yeah. management also. You may. There must be sites for that. You can even. You know. For example, normally we learn financial management only as per the Indian law, the Indian statements. But because your your students will be online, you can also explore U U.S. statements. You know, U.S. general accounting practices, financial management practices of U.S. or U.K. or Europe. I don't. I don't directly know what are the websites because I have not bothered to look at that. But I'm sure if you do a search, you will find out. But you can explore these uh, problems not only from an Indian point of view, but also maybe from a uh, American or a UK or a European regulator point of view. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Shabna. Again, your hand is raised. You wanted to ask anything?
okay maybe that's again a uh, error sir. only yes no, sir okay no problem thank you we'll go to the next presenter dr fulchand working capital your time starts now dr fulchand working capital yes sir yes sir Jamuna, ma'am, please stop sharing, ma'am. Jamuna, madam, will you stop sharing? Yes, sir. Yes, doctor, sir. I don't know how Google Meet works. Sorry, yeah, I don't know how Google Meet works. I think if Dr. Fulchan shares automatically, it will unshare. I thought so. Dr. Fulchan, go ahead and share. Yes, madam. Sir, uh, thank you for your uh, suggestion, yes. sir. I will. Uh, In future, I will do the as a lively manner, sir, in that class. <laughs> no, no, your presentation was very good. My suggestion only in terms of the assignment. Thank you so much, madam. Presentations are both are very good. My only suggestion was to give challenging okay, assignments sir. to students. Definitely, that was only my point. Thank you. And connect them to real life challenges that is already happening on a daily basis. Yeah, Doctor Fulchan, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. any problems dr fulchan ji sir you are able to share kar share ho raha hai nahi ho pa raha tha kya kya bol kya agar kuch feed ha abhi abhi aa raha hai abhi aa raha hai shuru kijiye ab abhi aa gaya aa gaya abhi ek minute sir abhi aa gaya kya ha abhi dikh raha hai aapka screen dikh raha hai reliable bonds wagera aap thank you sir thank you namaskar sir namaskar आई एम डॉक्टर फुलचंद किराड़े गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज निवाली कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट बड़वानी एम पी इंदौर माई टॉपिक इज वर्किंग कैपिटल the difference received after deducting the current liabilities from the current assets is now as the net working capital of the business working capital is the measure of a venture liquidity it also denotes the operational efficiency of venture the better the working capital the better is the business short term financial health working capital can be calculated from the following formula working capital current assets uh, oblique current liabilities the net working capital and net working capital show the reality available money to the meet daily operation of expenses the net working capital of a business can be derived using the following formula net working capital equal to current assets minus current liabilities types of working capitals gross working capital the total current assets is considered as the gross working capital net working capital the difference between the current assets and liabilities is now as net working capital permanent working capital when the life of the working capital is on year with a part of the investment being permanent it is now a permanent working capital temporary working capital temporarily of the calculating working capital keeps on the fluctuating with time and is not permanently investment <laughs> advantage of adequate working capital 
solvency of the business attribute working capital help in maintaining solvency of the business by providing unit to flowing of the production goodwill sufficient working capital enables a business concern to make promote payments and hence help in creating and the maintenance goodwill easy loans a concern having adequate working capital high solvency and good credit standing can arrange loan from bank and other of easy and favorable terms cash discount adequate working capital also enable a concern to avail cash discount on the purchase and hence is it reduce cost regular supply of the raw material sufficient working capital ensure regular supply of raw material and continuous production regularly payment of salaries wages and other day to day commitments a company which has ample working capital can make regular payment of salaries wages and other day to day commitments which uh, resists the morals of its employees increase their efficiency reduces wastes and costs and intense production and profits exploitation of the favorable market conditions only concerned with uh, adequate working capital can exploit favorable market conditional as uh, purchasing its uh, requirement in block when the price is lower and by holding its uh, investors for a higher price abilities the face prices adequate working capital enable as concerned to face business crisis is a emerge emergencies such as depression because during such period generally there is much pressure on working capital conclusion working capital is a significance to keep a business solvent a positive working indicates the short term financial health of a business a business with a positive working capital ratio can meet all its current liabilities and is a believed to be financial sound thank you sir थैंक यू सर तो आपको एक ही आपका अभी दो मिनट बाकी है तो आपके डिजिटल से आपको क्या फायदा हुआ ये वर्किंग कैपिटल टॉपिक का कंटेंट बनाने में आपको डिजिटल से क्या मत, आ, फायदा हुआ जब सर इससे मुझे कुछ काफी कुछ सीखने को मिला अभी तक तो मैं ये जानता नहीं था कि किस प्रकार इस पे काम करना लेकिन बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे इस पे थोड़ा मैं समझा और काम करा और आपके यहाँ से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मुझे पार्टिसिपेट करने का मौका मिला तो बहुत खुश रहा सर कि मुझे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला आप बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला कह रहे हैं लेकिन वो बहुत कुछ क्या है वो थोड़ा बताइए जी 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 सर मैं पहले सर क्या ऑनलाइन के माध्यम से नहीं जान पाता था अभी जिनोमियो के वेबसाइट पे काम करने ये क्या है इसके क्या फायदा है मॉडल के बारे में क्या है ऐसा मतलब कुछ कुछ भी नहीं जानता था सर पहले में तो ये सीखने को मिला सर डिजिटल के माध्यम से आगे मॉडल ले जाएंगे अपने कॉलेज में अपने कॉलेज में मॉडल यूज करेंगे जी सर जी सर जी थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फुल चंद फॉर योर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन वर्किंग जी सर थैंक यू सर प्लीज अनम्यूट सर सर प्लीज अनम्यूट सर सॉरी आई एम अनम्यूटिंग एंड I'm muting and speaking very much so nobody can understand. So thank you. Last presenter is Dr. Pinky Pawskar. Then we'll have a round of discussions and we'll continue the presentations. Dr. Pinky yes, Pawskar, you can go ahead and share your screen. Thank yes, you. Yes, I'll just uh, share.
is my screen visible yes it's coming on madam okay. yes it's visible now you have 10 minutes so please take your time yes yes um a very good afternoon to everyone watching and uh, listening to me um my topic is sustainable strategic management and this is my uh, home page uh, i click on the screen and it goes to this is how i have framed my um uh, subject so to begin with um, i have just worked on the introduction to sustainable strategic management that section and i'll be explaining only that much in the remaining part i'll be working on later so to begin with uh, this is the uh, introduction and before that like you know uh, to start with this course i thought we'll put up an announcement section first wherein um, i would i've just kept it open for maybe uh, people could even ask queries as in um, it's like let us discuss okay so they could just uh, discuss about what the course is if they really you know what would they learn from and you know so stuff like that so that if they are truly interested they would get come on to the course so i just kept the first one as an announcement as in discuss, as a discussion which could be further used as the course will go by it could be further used for further uh, discussions also so um going to introduction Uh, yes costies so um so we here so introduction to sustainable management if i go on to this page it uh, shows me this particular concept map that i had created and the background kind of gives a picture of why sustainability from something that the earth is looking like now to what it can become if we move on Uh, on the path of sustainable strategic management and i have explained uh, all the important concepts here of sustainable strategic management in a very brief manner kind of an overview a birds view of what this course is going to hold on actually the first unit is going to hold on the second unit third unit fourth unit all of them are going to also have concept maps which people which students can look at and understand what they are going to learn from this unit so this is just for the purpose of the first unit then i um uh under overview i have also put um i've worked a little bit on creating a video i hope it is audible and clear let me um play it for you i'll play it for maybe 30 to 40 seconds this is my video a very warm welcome to one and all watching this video today Through this video, we would try to understand what is the concept of sustainable strategic management. Sustainable strategic management is an approach, process of planning, organizing, leading, just and controlling the company's activities in such a way that they promote a system and have a responsibility to operate in a way that preserves and enhances the natural environment, protects human rights, people, planet, and profit. this means that companies must not only consider the financial bottom line but okay so basically this video i had created it's it runs around 3 minutes i won't play the entire thing but uh, this was created uh, to give an overview of what sustainable strategic man management actually is people do know about sustainability but how is it important why it is important this is like you know and all the pictures here i would uh, like to highlight that i've taken from shutterstock.com which is kind of an an open source and even under google we've taken uh, i've taken uh, open source so all these picks that uh, i'll just quickly also, run through the picks companies that are commits picks that are there on uh, the screen are um, their social performance and from uh, shutter.com shutter stock about their environmental and nice last slide and uh, it moves on to finally yeah i wouldn't uh, delay because uh, the net is uh, running a little slow here this is my last slide so i have i've it's all pictorial i haven't uh, written much but i have spoken everything in detail so this is my overview of uh, my course uh, moving on i'll uh, history now the second uh, part or the the next part under the introduction is a little bit of history of strategic management wherein i have a little brief background i've explained and i have written here clearly that i have a ppt that i have attached here the history of um, strategic man management and the ppt is pretty self explanatory it gives an idea about what how it has come into being and uh, a little bit of um, um, explaining what the whole 
um, historical background for strategic management is. I missed out on one thing to tell in the beginning is um, right at the beginning, I had uh, under generals and under announcement, I've also put the course structure. Now, under course structure, I have given a link to a textbook under sustainable strategic management, and they can very well are free to download and read through and refer to the PPT and read through the respective uh, concepts. If at all, it's not clear. Another way to discuss is the discussion forum. So it goes on that way. And uh, the course handout is given right at the beginning with all the details uh, explained. Since it's 10 minutes, I'm just rushing through. Okay. Uh, then the next uh, You have only thing. taken five minutes. You have five minutes more. So okay, you sir. don't have okay. to rush through so much. Only half the time you have taken. Okay, fine. Um, this is a uh, one thing that um, I would like to highlight. <clears throat> it's an assignment. Uh, this is the assignment called Movie Mania. And uh, this assignment is, uh, I have recorded my voice to explain the assignment and it sounds like this. Hello, friends. Now that we've understood the history of strategic management, this assignment, I want you to identify movie clips in which people have used strategic management in order to be in a better position or to have a competitive advantage. These clips could be from war movies, sports related movies, or just any generic ideas. Once you have identified the clip, I would like you to edit the video and probably put a set of clips together, which would explain the strategies used in the movie that you have chosen. Doing that, you would need to then upload the clip onto the platform along with your name and registration details. Yes, sir. so this is the Google uh, Drive link that I have also given along with the assignment wherein they can create a movie, edit it and work on whatever uh, platforms they know of and uh, give an idea about how historically strategic management was used. This was an assignment that I had uploaded. Then uh, moving on, the next part is nature and intent of strategic management. Now, I would like to highlight that um, here also I have created, I've given a background of what the nature of strategic management is and also a PPT. Now these PPTs, if I click on to, uh, it will be downloaded and I won't be able to share because I'm sharing a tab here. So I'll explain saying that each of these PPTs have got case studies in the sense they have certain caselets, small understanding of like this one intent and nature would have a case study on Facebook and uh, and explain how um, you know Mark Zuckerberg thought of getting had an idea of Facebook and how intent and nature converted it into an idea which is so big today so uh, explaining in that set, in that <clears throat> manner and every slide of my ppt has got questions okay which they have to deliberate upon and these questions can be further discussed on the discussion forum that is there which i would probably be just posting on just to get ideas about what people have to say on whether they've read that unit finished or completed in that fashion so moving on um, something called uh, understanding the process here also i have uh, kind of created a, an, an explanation a proper pictorial explanation of what the entire process of strategic management is and similarly it also has got a ppt which has got questions at the end of it uh, this is interesting. I looked up um, a small part of uh, the process talks about vision, mission statement. Now here I have again given them an assignment. It's an exercise. And uh, I have also given a document which helps them understand how vision and mission is done. And they have to create, they have to work on this exercise, which is based on an NGO. So it is again on, part, on par with sustainability or probably doing good to the public. So this is an exercise wherein they create their um, vision, mission statement for a company or understand and give their opinion. And again, a Google Drive link, which explains which they have to uh, you know, upload their assignment onto this link, which then I would be able to, um, accordingly, the number, according to the number of people who have responded, I'll probably go in for a discussion. And at the end, this is uh, sustainability and strategic management, which I thought is the, the core part of the introduction part. So I have put up certain videos. There are two videos which I wouldn't be playing. These are YouTube videos which are not recorded by me, but very relatable and very much uh, on the uh, lines of strategic management. 
and sustainable strategic management. These are the, the video links and the details. Uh, moving on, I also have a quiz. OK, it's a little slow. OK, uh, so this quiz here, I have just tried two things. One is the I have created Google Forms and uploaded a form wherein they can take a quiz through this manner. Or I have also, uh, it's, just, it's just a preview. I haven't done the entire quiz, but I've also attempted to create it online on through um, Geome, um, the Moodle platform. So this is also the quiz that they can take in either of the ways. So I've tried both and they both were uh, helpful and successful. So uh, this was with it. Um, yeah, this is this is my quiz part of it. And um, I think if I'm missing, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. And uh, you have managed to use a variety of not only you have access to materials, like your, you have access videos from outside, or but you also made. And I just want to check with you the video that you made. Which software did you use for the video? So, uh, Voco Screen. The you one that was the, uh, oh, thought. Okay, okay, wonderful. The quality is very good. So I just wanted to know whether you're, you know, you use a new tool. So to get that quality mm -hmm. when you're using a new tool, it takes a lot of effort. So uh, you know, I just changed some settings for... and also I just did a few. Yeah, things. yeah. No, no. But it's uh, you know surprisingly normally when we make a video, we think we are not experts. So we are we don't feel confident. But when the video comes out well, it adds adds to our confidence that we can do it. And once you start making video resources. You can use your valuable class time for discussion rather than you know giving content information. So that can go through a video. You can tell the students see the video and then come to the class, and that is what we call as a flipped classroom, right? What I was explaining on the first day. Then Maybe. strategic management is such a wonderful topic that actually a lot of interesting discussions can happen in the classroom. Students can come with their own preparation. Yes. So creating yes. videos of your classes will be useful. So what I'll suggest now, we've had four presentations so far. So uh, I will suggest that we take 10 minutes for all. Only I have been speaking, which is unfair. I request all participants for their own, you know, if you have any comments or questions or clarifications of the first four presenters, we'll take 10 minutes for that. And then after that, we will go to the next set of presentations. So for the first four presenters, uh, Dr. Rajeshwari, Dr. Jamuna Devi, Dr. Fulchand, and Dr. Pinky. Uh, which are all on the commerce uh, space, you know, now we'll after that, we will go into education presentation. So we can maybe take 10 minutes uh, for that. So please, you can unmute and ask your questions. Or you can if you want to make a comment or give a feedback, feel free to do so. It's a request to all of you kindly give feedback for your fellow participants so that they can benefit the presenters can benefit from your comments, suggestions, questions also doesn't matter. Sir, this is yeah, Dr. Who wants Abdullah to speak? Jihar. Please go ahead. Morning, sir. Yes, sir, Dr. Abdullah Jihar. Dr. Abdullah Ji, uh, Abdullah Ji and then to, the next speaker. Yeah. Dr. Abdullah Ji, go ahead. Yeah, this is to uh, Pulchan, sir, on working capital management. Okay, because uh, working capital management has some uh, problems, working ratios, and all. Uh, how he added that, uh, or what tool we have to add on that? That have a yeah, thank there you, Dr. Ajay. Uh, I'll request a few more questions. Question. Then, yeah, yeah. How did he configure these ratios and all on Moodle? Is the question maybe? Uh, Dr. Fulchan can answer, but before that, we can take few more questions. Somebody else was also talking. I don't know who was trying to ask a question. This is Sujata, sir. Good afternoon. Dr. Sujata, go ahead. Uh, it's really wonderful. Pinky Pawaskar has presented so well, and she has included almost all the tools which have been taught so far. Uh, uh, I really congratulate her. Uh, it's a very wonderful presentation. I just wanted to ask her how she included that PowerPoint presentation and her uh, uh, the uh, into that uh, her video inserted into that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, I have. Uh, this is all through trial and error, and whatever sir had taught us and um, these sessions. The thing is, I have chosen when I go in for um, a, a new unit, I chose a folder. So, when when you choose a folder, you can also have you have a section called files, which uh, uh, you can upload your file. You can upload any kind of file. And uh, you can, uh, um, you, like, you can have videos, you can upload files, you can have pictures. You'll have to have just certain settings wherein you'll have to say whether you need to display it and whether they are, you know, um, you'll have 
for downloading you will have to um, uh, allow, like what do you call that hint for download there are certain options available so i chose a folder option i think that's the main part if you take a folder option you can have announcement you can have certain uh, uh, boxes which you, where you can write your matter and you have another box which wherein your files can be uploaded so it works better that way or in the dialog box itself the description box it is given no ma'am yeah, one, one second sorry sorry i will interrupt because you know we have former presentations uh, i think we'll request the course uh, the co university to organize a special session from dr pinky pauskar to all of us so that <laughs> no, all sir. the wonderful things that yes, she is sir, doing we, need, we all um, can learn from her <laughs> so, oh my but God, yes, now is not the time for that thank you so much for a wonderful actually the truth is that we are all you know swimming in the same boat or sinking in the same boat whatever it is and when one of the uh, our colleagues is able to do a very good job it encourages and inspires everybody we don't feel that oh my presentation is not good you know bala uski kameez meri kameez se safed kaisi we don't feel like that unki kameez bahut safed hai to mera bhi kameez safed ho sakta hai so you know that way you have done a wonderful job i think you will encourage uh, and inspire others and i think we may not have time in this program itself but in some way the moodle courses you know the moodle uh, discussion forums are there i can request dr pinky if you can even make a short work screen video to explain how uh, to dr sujata how you did it you can even explain that using work screen and make a video itself and that you can share I'll on the moodle yeah yeah okay, so that dr okay, sujata sees what you have done and then it's easier for her to learn you know that is basically she is eager to learn and uh, do many of the things that you have done any more questions dr haji had a question for but before that uh, anybody else has any question or any comment or feedback on any of the presentations yes please share your thoughts valuable thoughts your comments your suggestions for the first four presenters There is deathly silence. Doctor Bhupati, any questions from you, sir? Uh, Objective-wise, uh, um, should we should we draft it differently? Because uh, uh, what what I'm seeing is uh, the uh, objectives are just like you know, the uh, it has to be understood, right? So maybe uh, it has to be something like what change it will bring in the students. Uh, then it will be more uh, good, right? Uh, Yeah, so that's a suggestion that the objectives can be framed in an outcome, or uh, you know, a language also. But these are some, you know, different ways of different people have different ways of of presenting these. So what you intend to do, what outcome you intend to see, people present it. Doctor Govindan uh, sir, suggestion is if you put it in outcome-based language, it will be clearer. You know, what are you trying to assume uh, at attempt to do in the course? Yes, Doctor Bhupati, any comment from you, or Doctor uh, Nana Sondri, any comment from you? would you like to elaborate why did you like the presentation of pinky ma'am it is very excellent sir uh, marvelous but we are not capable to do like that sir it is no, very no, no. <laughs> we are in the beginning stage and one more thing gopati and myself are waiting to present sir so that we are in our mind <laughs> and that's it sir <laughs> what is the present what is yeah, in our mind madam we are waiting waiting to present <laughs> sir minimum gopati sir is waiting <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah yeah right right exam <laughs> exam viva you are in the viva queue <laughs> yes i guess sir <laughs> <laughs> but you can do better madam each of us can yes, do better yes. than the others yes, sir. so Thank i have no so doubt much, about sir. that okay so let us go to the next set of presentations then uh, we have um, dr dr bhupati only is an ex presenter agencies yes, of education if i got his topic right please share and yes. present sir thank you yes sir thank you sir okay. very 10 good 10 minutes for everybody your, your time starts now sir okay sir thank you sir very good afternoon to all participants uh, this is my pleasure to present uh, the work uh, which i have learned particularly during this last 10 days and uh, my attempt on developing this uh, moodle uh, course uh, the, now i am presenting my screen one minute we can see sir please go ahead okay so now i am going for the another tab of my presentation uh, this is the page of my uh, moodle home page where i am creating my course and all uh, the first of all i want to like um, uh, 
<clears throat> into two parts. First, I explain the design of this uh, course. Later, I go to the exact content of this course. Sir, this going okay, sir? Yes, sir. Very well, sir. Your screen uh -huh. is a little dark, but I think uh, now it's okay. I think the problem is in the... Uh, yeah, now we can see very well, sir. Please proceed. Okay, sir. Actually, the course is designed as uh, suggested by the Rake, sir. Uh, first of all, we have to give uh, about the course and objectives and the, how many units. And all my courses on uh, agencies of education. This course is first at the very beginning of the Moodle design itself. I given the about the course. This is to immediate uh, brief. Uh, I uh, to give immediate brief reference about the course. And another part is the objectives of the course. And immediately after completion of this objective course and. Um, uh, I started this discussion forum and uh, assessment part because the discussion forum, as uh, previous presenters mentioned, it is very important to have uh, in the online mode. Uh, so that's why it's only here only we are giving uh, all the <coughs> discussions and other announcements to the learners. So here I mentioned as um, a little idea for uh, learners. Dear learners, welcome to my course. Our course is going to start soon so meanwhile uh, you all requested to introduce like there's some given uh, comment on this another part is the assessment part uh, in the assessment part i just simply uh, given some titles for assessment assignments as my title on agency education i coupled with this uh, titles family and education school and education community and education and also the media and education this is the assignment part and also i try to attempt one uh, make create one use uh, but uh, I uh, didn't uh, exactly complete that quiz part but I simply give an announcement to the learners their learners uh, please be ready for your uh, quiz one like that so this is the first part of this core Moodle structure the other part goes like this uh, introduction and in the introduction, it's a, a brief introduction of the content only. And it goes like uh, agencies of education, that is meaning and the classification. In meaning and classification, for classification purpose, I used the concept map. I exported the concept map from the uh, free plane software to this image I pasted here. And the third part, uh, family as the agency. For family, for explaining the family and all, I given one family uh, picture. And then another is school as a uh, educational agency, and another is community as educational agency. For each this uh, content, uh, the text, text I given one brief uh, text and also yes, some um, pictures. Last part of this uh, course is media as the agency of education. These are the four uh, main contents part of this course, and at last how these four uh, media, school, community, and uh, family are uh, interactively uh, having a relationship with the education that is for this content little uh, at the end i have concluded this as usual very uh, traditional format at the last i have attached a brief uh, video summary which i have developed uh, through uh, for the explaining this whole course content and after this video I have presented some reference standard reference books and given some web resources and also given the web link for the further reference. At last, I have given this downloadable material as which I have developed as the part of this whole course materials about for four pages I have developed. So this is the basic idea of this course and structure. Uh, now I would like to have this discussion my presentation on the agencies of education. For making this presentation, I simply you want to use this uh, concept map. Uh, this concept map might have uh, a clearly explained what are the agencies and education. Uh, simply the education starts from the uh, when the child uh, is uh, given birth from the birth to death we having our uh, learning in the all these spheres this agency of education in the beard and m and courses particularly the teacher training courses this very basic lesson uh, for a, 
first sociology of education we have the foundation courses as sociology psychology and uh, uh, philosophy and uh, this under the sociology of education there is one unit for agencies of education these agencies are not uh, uh, like the agencies of uh, educational organizations or institutions like university or uh, cbsc ncert not like that under this social sphere what are the society what are these institutions or organizations were established through the human history for the welfare of human kind it is uh, comes uh, treated as the agency of education uh, by going this concept map the agencies of education can be classified into the uh, formal agencies and also informal agencies and this active agencies and uh, passive agencies the formal informal active or passive agencies are interrelated one for example a formal agencies means the schools colleges universities libraries religious institutions museums galleries uh, zoological park and organized games wherever the an individual child can go and get explored or engage themselves for learning it's the way of organized institution like school college universities that is called as the formal agencies another way of uh, agencies are informal agencies but uh, informal agencies comes family community society uh, the state or government uh, media uh, exhibitions and all which are uh, supposed to be in social peers we are engaging many activities now so these activities these institutions establishments are can be Uh, informally teach formal way of learning for by going to school and all informal way it's the society or community totally gives an input to the individual child to learn these agencies also again classified into the uh, active and the passive agencies uh, active agencies are uh, which are an organized sectors uh, which have the structured norms regulations and all because it is directly inculcating the Uh, material that means the course content the learning uh, one, must one have, minute more sir doctor uh, that's sir yes sir i'm going to complete sir uh, the active agencies also the schools colleges uh, social clubs in our entertainment games and all passive agencies we, definitely the agencies are not immediately influencing but in the due course of time the life span of an individual the media market the social welfare gil, clubs community service centers recreation centers are directly uh, or indirectly for a long period of time of a human life it will influence so uh, this is very basic idea about this uh, course and this content uh, <clears throat> with this part of this agency of education is very basic course for the bed ml student i am just I made an at uh, this module this module i am still exploring many uh absence applications of this uh module under this training i hope uh, it will be continue further because we are in uh, uh, need of uh, developing a module course in our institutions i hope i personally may contact this uh, it for change because already with my colleague they have discussed with this thank you sir for this i take this uh, this time up personally thanking i said for the Uh, work and all towards society thank you sir thank you dr bhupati for your presentation uh, we'll go to the next presenter dr nyana soundri yeah please you can share your screen uh, and i think we are happy to come and support uh, your institution in starting to use moodle and other platforms for your own courses we'll be happy to be on we'll be in touch later on thank you doctor dr nyana soundri you can begin now thank you so much sir thank you for this opportunity sir one second Sir, is it visible, sir? Sir, is it visible, sir? Uh, not yet, but I think uh, I can. Not yet. You are done screen share. Screen share. It's not yet visible. Maybe you can do full screen. Yeah. Now it's coming. now we can uh 
no no we can't see anything i thought you are presenting the screen share share the screen again madam one minute sir one minute sir yes yes madam so dr bhupati in that one minute whatever time madam will come up with her screen screen wonderful presentation and i think more we try with moodle more we will learn and uh, you know instead of theoretically learning if you say i'm teaching you moodle you learn moodle you will never learn but if you're actually configuring a real yeah. course yes. and using yes. it with real students then your needs will immediately students will ask something then it will become easy so yes, that sir. is a yes, feedback sir. not only for dr bhupati but for everybody that whatever course you already created on uh, you know genomeo you try to actually teach in your class using that particular course in that process you will learn you will become a master of moodle that is the best way to learn yes sir yes sir i understand sir actually you are muted yourself sir yes sir uh, <clears throat> there are many other platforms also there but nowadays only on our teacher education sector having a uh, entering this moodle platform and also for your information sir in tamil nadu uh, in our uh, curriculum and syllabus it is mandatory to have a mooc course in bed program uh, but our many of our students are facing difficulties as we don't have our our own platform yeah uh, we so can help our... you to get your own platform sir it is not very difficult to do you can have yes, your sir. own platform and you can encourage your institutions also dr nanan sundari we can now see screen share yes we can see now go ahead madam go ahead. sir can you hear me sir i can hear you clearly madam i can see the screen also yes sir yes sir thank you so much sir once again sir sir actually uh... uh this is my uh, work on moodle i i took at the topic of bloom's taxonomy and uh, before that i want to thank ugc hrdc to giving me this wonderful opportunity sir and uh, what a mistake i have done i want to say in the <laughs> initial basis time uh, i fit the um, audios and videos some concept mapping i didn't fit in a correct position wherever it uh, i thought i fit it there sir first of all i want to show i want to show you this i sir ma'am switch off the edit mode then it will be easier for you to proceed. yes yes you are trying to play an audio madam play an audio madam yes sir yes sir is it hearing sir uh, we could i could only faintly hear maybe you can uh, play it no, again no no it could you hear sir yeah it's audible but not very loud so that's okay madam maybe if you it, uh, now it's better but still not very clear it may be because of connectivity issues madam if you are able to hear clearly that is good so you have embedded an audio into your uh, explanation although as you rightly said sir. everything you have to position in the correct place that you can learn and do it with practice yes sir yes sir uh, what the thing is i uh, i done this audio through audio city which i have learned in this refresher course sir just i tried it um coming uh, following to this i did my e content on bloom's taxonomy which is very important to know about the students behavior in different level and their achievements sir uh, for the teacher trainees of ba it is very necessary to uh, train this uh, different domains in bloom's taxonomy the course objectives are to encourage higher order thought in the students by building up from lower level cognitive skills to do with knowledge and mental skills to do with physical motor skills to do with feelings and attitudes i done my course units uh, based on cognitive affective and uh, psychomotor three domains uh, first i did the, the definition of bloom's taxonomy history and development of bloom's taxonomy because uh, two of them are uh, uh, started and revised this bloom's taxonomy in the history of bloom's taxonomy and i explained the three domains of bloom's taxonomy which i have uh, already 
uh, told that cognitive affective and psychomotor the thing is next to this is post transaction method when we are using this cognitive domain uh, it made a mode of learning the thoughts and thinking and uh, examples for this abilities is for memorizing and reasoning that's what i done, done this post transaction method following this i give a brief descri description of the units one is definition and genesis of your taxonomy that uh, i already told that bloom's taxonomy is first introduced by Benjamin Bloom's in 1956. Following to that, Benjamin student, another uh, uh, 2000 in uh, 2001. Again, they revised the Bloom's taxonomy by the team of uh, Lauren Anderson. Sir. So it is completely changed in the, after 2007. And then finally, what I plan to explain in this uh, Bloom's taxonomy is three domains. First uh, main domain for the teachers and students is cognitive domain. that is knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and evaluation i give uh, one, uh, one by one the explanations of uh, each uh, sub components of the cognitive, cognitive domain following this i give the um, picture of affective domain and uh, sub components of affective domains i am i'm showing this also following this i give uh, psychomotor domains but i didn't give any explanations about uh, psychomotor domain just i give the pictures and uh, Uh, sub components of psychomotor domain i give gave the reference also sir finally the course mapping which i have learnt in the refresher course in the concept mapping is is it visible to you sir yes sir. yes it is visible yes, and uh, this is the bloom's taxonomy which i uh, what is uh, this uh, rom mark and this this is this is converted as a pdf that's what i didn't uh, able to touch that rom mark and uh, pencil mark the rom mark shows the um cone of the cognitive domain and the pencil uh, will show the definition of cognitive domains that's what i explained this uh, i i plan this uh, concept mapping sir following to this i one second sir following to this stick figures of uh, various uh, emotions feelings understandings knowledge analysis synthesis lots and lots some components in the, are there in this uh, three domains just i uh, catch a video through google and uh, paste it in the uh, moodle classroom to show to the students to catch through the stick figures these all emotions sir. just uh, watch your, just watch your one or two minutes video for this sir. Yes, madam. We can go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. One second. These are the works done by me, little bit uh, through uh, which I learnt in our wonderful refresher course, sir. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Uh, any? Uh, you have still two more minutes, so just can take one minute. In what way? you are because you are doing e content and you are doing online course how are you revisualizing your student interaction because your students are going to become teachers so you have a very special course you are teaching in what way this digital is going to change your interaction with your students can you talk about that uh, being a teacher educator the teacher trainees are very very low knowledge in technology and icts they are very low even though in communication technology as well as in uh, uh, practical technologies there is there are very low sir only till now they are using uh, blackboard uh, chalk paper just book that itself we have to explore more and we have to inculcate these uh, technology facilities in our syllabus and we have to give their hands on training in the syllabus and we have to bring them bring them more in the future in the technology sir for online courses okay thank you thank, thank you very me. much uh, you, dr nan soundri nice presentation uh, we'll now go to the next presenter dr sharmila Yes, sir. Introduction to education technology. Yes, go ahead, madam. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, all of you. <clears throat> the topic I selected for this presentation is introduction to education technology. Is my screen is visible, sir? Yes, it is visible. Yeah, sir. I try my level best. What I have learned from the past ten days, sir, to prepare this module course. The topic is introduction to education technology. What I have given first is the concept mapping here i have given the sub topic of the introduction to education technology meaning 
history of education, concept of education, definitions, objectives, types, and uses. There are nine subtopics are there. Uh, this uh, unit is the basic for education technology. Whatever, whatever paper we have related to technology, this is the first unit. So I have selected this unit, uh, Introduction to Education Technology. In this first introduction, uh, I have given a course objective. What are the course objectives? Then I explain and understand the objectives and explain the types and analyze the uses of education technology. And I have given an uh, introduction. What is education technology? I have given small introduction related to introduction. Then I, I have history of education. I have inserted one video related to the development of a technology from the ancient civilization to 21st century itself. The history of technology in education. Is it audible, sir? Let's begin. Yes, yes, yes. it's audible. Yes. I have given some concept of what is history of education technology, how it is developed from ancient Mesopotamia from now itself. Then I have given a quiz for this concept, history of education technology. Here I have inserted this picture to induce the curiosity of the learners. What is this education device? I have given four multiple choice item and I have, I click overhead projectors, the right answer, then it will come the feedback to the learners. Then meaning of education technology. What is, I have given, what is education technology? What is it a meaning? And three views regarding the meaning of education technology. One is related to tool, how the technologies help to as a tool and to provide equal accessibility. And then in the part of students, how it will help. Then I will go to the concept of education technology. What is it meaning? What is the meaning of education? What is the meaning of technology? And what is education technology? And I have given is multiple choice item for this subtopic I have given four multiple choice item the, the dash comes from the Greek word technique which means an art or skill the right word is technology then I'm going to definitions of education technology I have given five or more de definitions And on Robert Cox definition, based on that, I have asked on questions. Then I have inserted objectives. What are the objectives of education technology? I given 10 more points related to objectives of technology. Then the subtopic is types of education technology. There are a lot of types of education technology. For that, I have selected this three types of technology synchronous and asynchronous technology next one is linear learning technology third one is collaborative learning technology and the seventh subtopic is what are the uses of education technology how it uses in education for that i have given four four points and one assignment for that for this assignment i have given the discussion forum discuss the pros and cons of using education technology in education this are this is the assignment i have given in the uses of it et subtopic then 
the next sub topic is approaches of education technology there are three approaches of education technology i have once given a flow chart for this and some concept of what is hardware approach and what is software approach then what is system approach these are three types of approaches of education technology here that i have given some quiz for this sub topic i have asked there are three types of approaches in education technology yes or no type questions i have included this topic yeah if i click true and then finish attempt i will get a feedback the learner can get a feedback for this yes this is the correct answer last one is conclusion for the conclusion parts i have mentioned one point no one can replace the educator as a teacher technology and education goes parallelly this is i want to include in the conclusion part that's why i included this teacher and technology goes parallel this picture i have included this and all this content i have taken from open ai software by using chat gpt okay wonderful that's all sir thank you thank you dr sharmila so we'll go to the last presentation thank you sir uh, i'm not sure how to pronounce uh, your name dr ullamud ullamud ullamudiya mudayar yes sir yes sir tell me sir dr r ullamudiya sir ullamudiya what does it mean sir sir i am dr r ullamudiya from ashton professor what is the meaning of your name i am yes, i am born sir nalla ullamudiya illa sir nalla ullamudiya this hearted person that's very good that is ullam that is god god name sir god god it is the tamil nadu from the tirunelveli district my native place it is sir, sir I, was, i was born i was born in mailadurai that is my birth place Yes, sir. If I'm working, yes, sir. Talk to our room there from Ashton Professor of Economics in Mailadurai. Yeah, that is my birthplace. Ah, I'm saying. Yeah, please go ahead. At that time, we used to call it Mayavaram. Now it's called Mailadurai. Yes, sir. Most And welcome. Most called... welcome, sir. Most welcome, welcome, welcome. Most welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead with your presentation, sir. Wait, just wait for you, sir. Uh, are you visible for uh, screen, sir? Yes, sir. It's visible. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, sir. So, good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, my topic is a uh, teaching and the learning. It is uh, an effective tool for teaching and the learning in the contemporary education system, sir. It is a very useful education system for in India. It is a uh, government has announced for in the new national education policy. It is a very essential role for in the all the state government. Most of the state government was introduced. Some of the state government was is not mandatory. It is a very useful for in the education tools for in education system. It is the um, my topic is the first of all it is the concept of map. It is the teaching and the learning in the education system. First chapter is the introduction. Second is the concept of e content, the aims of achieving educations, the education system in India. Another one is the effective teach for educations. It is the enjoy the field of educations, the create the policy, the learning environment, the connect with the students. the whole file prepared the, the managing the vehicle the schedule for use the clear language the self reasonable expectations it is the e resources the offer for the applications it is the concept of mass it is the um, introduction chapter is the in the education system in the knowledge of explosion society the bring the effectiveness the dissemination of informations the development of creative content incorporation of innovative information education system of our india and the communication technology play it is a vital role for in the education system for the upcoming the digital generation to create the digital teaching the learning of environment mastering the ict the skill of utilizing the ict is the outcome the importance in very every educator for persons it is the purpose of it is various form of web based learning the computer based learning the mobile based learning the virtual classroom and the digital collaborations it is the competence for text video video chess 
images, animations with the visual effect, is the delivered the internet, satellite, the broadcast or mobile technology. The e-content has the become the very valuable and very powerful tool of education in the contemporary education system. It is the newest method, the instruction that can be used to the create of information which is society in the everyone, irrespective of the caste, religion, race, is the one of the education is the, is the research oriented topic, it is a primary data. It is uh, empowered the, to create the receive the share of utilize the information knowledge there, economic, social, cultural, and the political development. The use of e content has transformed the teacher several ways. In the, the purpose of activity, the, the well written e content several effective tool for virtual teachers. Teachers are although most of the teachers is used for in the uh, ICT in education in our area. The educated the own resources consequently we have more control of the classroom. It is like fast. It is the second of all the um, uh, audio. It is started the science of teaching the effective the teaching the great school. It is the uh, one or two minutes the visible for in the audio. It is a very essential education system for in awareness. Uh, Sir, can you go ahead? Okay. Next chapter is the aim to the achieving achievements of in education system. First of all, education in teachers to distinguish between fair and evil, the unethical and ethical. Education provide a person hope that they will be able to address the difficulty that humanity is currently facing. Education empower you to all challenge the everything that appears to be incorrect. Education teachers you how to conduct yourself the correctly and effectively education assist in your discovering the truth and the challenges you took thing in a new ways illusion that the displayed by the proper educations it increases your awareness and confidence education seems to develop the children to good to the citizen and responsible citizens apply the they are the learning and gains the skill to help themselves and others they help to move the human race ahead the area such as equality, justice, and the harmony is the conclusion of the study. In education sector, the e-content development is the heart of the teaching and the learning the process. Although the content the development plays the role in the e-learning, it is the undoubtedly the not a easy the process. It requires the expert of knowledge in the subject area. It is the creating but necessary the object to the make of the quality and the hygiene of creativity in the structuring and the sequencing the topics to make the complete the whole from this we can the predict the e-content protections enriches the e-content learning in a dynamic way it is said that people we are the visual the minded the remaining the 20 percentage of what we they the here the 50 percentage of what they hear and the z and probably the 100 percentage of what they hear here and the z and the do this is the what e contents the position to do under the what e content under the intended for this education system. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, amazingly, we are at 3.14 and we are supposed to finish at 3.15. But uh, I'll just, okay, sir. Uh, you know, with the permission of the next uh, okay. uh, examiner, I'll just take five more minutes only uh, so because we had eight presentations. 
So I want us to have at least five minutes to have any questions, comments on the second set of four presentations. We had a couple of questions and discussions on the first set of four presentations, which were on commerce and management and second set of four presentations on education. So again, uh, request any questions, comments from others. You can unmute and speak or you can type in the chat window. Okay, sir. Yes, any questions from anybody? Any comments, any questions? So maybe I'll just quickly share one comment that I had, which I uh, talked to or asked Dr. Nyana Sondri also. See, as teacher educators who are teaching pre-service, you are going to create the teachers of the future. So we must have in our mind a concept of a good teacher or an excellent teacher. So we also know who is not a good teacher, right? We have all been through school and college. So we know the boring teachers are the ones who just read out from the textbook or who don't share any new ideas, who talk most of the time, who don't have, you know, who are uh, very narrow in what they want to look for in student uh, achievement. And we know the teachers we like are the ones who encourage a lot of discussions, who connect the learning to real life issues, uh, particularly in the education space, there are a lot of challenges in education we are facing all the time. So there is a crisis in education. The pandemic has made the crisis bigger. Uh, you know, language learning has become a challenge post-COVID. Uh, Asar every year talks about how students' performance is very poor. Uh, governments uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. not doing well. Privatization is rampant. English medium has become more prominent. So all of you are from Tamil Nadu. So even in Tamil Nadu, where there's so much pride in the local language in Tamil, still the preferences for English languages. So if your teachers are able to bring these kind of complex ideas, controversial ideas into the classroom discussion, you are able to do it with the uh, student teachers. Then they start understanding that teaching is not simply a process that what is there in the textbook should be memorized by the student, but whatever is the spirit, whether it's agencies of education or even Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy is a very powerful way of looking at learning. We don't need to take Bloom's taxonomy as a Bible, but it is offering a very useful way of looking at uh, how learning happens. And uh, you, you can have actually have student teachers can go and do short studies in their practice teaching and come back and talk about, you know, how they have been able to work on critical thinking, how they've been able to work on analytical thinking skills, etc. as a part of uh, cognition going beyond, you know, recall and uh, that kind of thing. So that was my comment to the uh, teacher educators that you must really look at this online as a challenge to you to repurpose uh, the teaching in a manner that student teachers are able to reimagine education and connect it to edu uh, real life in you know meaningful ways. You're always doing that. The digital allows you more possibilities for that. There was a long comment from me, but there was only to wait for giving chance to other people to also speak. Please uh, request for some you. comments, questions. For everybody. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Some one or two questions should be there because <laughs> Otherwise, these four presenters will be unhappy with me that I took all the time for the talking. So any other question? Anybody has a comment or a question? Dr. Abdul Haji, you had a question only in the first session, but not in the second. <laughs> not like that, sir. <laughs> May mainly, thanks, sir. How did you find these four presentations, sir? Anything you found very uh, good, sir. Nice, sir. Because uh, most of them will be uh, learned uh, here only, sir. So I thank to University Calicut and uh, all the research person where you find uh, they are excellent, uh, especially Guru Murshir. You, you are all, all always supporting us uh, because we are entirely worried about uh, while starting, okay, first day, second day itself. But after that, uh, we have like a relationship. Okay, it's a very good, wonderful one. I pray maybe it will be continuous. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Any uh, anything you learned from any of these four presentations? Sorry, I'm being very difficult with you. Uh, you said it's very nice, but very nice is not really a very useful comment. You know, it's a very general comment. Any specific comment on any of these four presentations? Anything uh, sir, you liked? I feel that yes. they have taken the very important topic, sir, especially from the education department. The blue taxonomy and all that is a very important one. And uh, it's really good. You know, within these two days, they have really presented well. And all the other four participants also, Jamuna, Madam, Pinky, Madam, everything was excellent. Every point, everyone showed a new aspect. So I'm thinking, oh, I forgot that. I, for I forgot this. No, everyone uh, really done a wonderful work, I feel, so. really. Thank you so yeah. much, sir, for, uh, I mean, giving us such training and all that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Malti, Madam. So one interesting thing about this course is, you know, we're all teachers normally. 
and here we become students right so like uh, so uh, nansundari madam was uh, mentioning you know we also have the viva uh, stress oh my turn is going to come next will i get enough time am i going to remember everything that i wanted to say you know how our students go through these stress processes we also undergo but i think hopefully once we look at this whole the way for it for change we always wanted to look at teaching learning as a very collaborative and friendly uh, process but teacher and the learners because the teachers are also learning from the learners so we always every time we do a course we are learning from the wonderful work that the you know the participants do who are teachers we work a lot with in service and we think that even our classroom if it becomes a nice collaborative space not the usual unfortunately our classrooms are created that the teacher is standing on the stage stage and the students are sitting 40 students facing the teacher you know that creates a very very problematic environment because it shows the teacher is the only knowledgeable person and the students have to only listen and imbibe what the teacher is saying and there is counter to the spirit of learning and here you know this online environment is wonderful because the same uh, tv screen that you can see of me you can see of dr bhupati you can see of dr sujata we are all equal so the digital allows us that kind of an equal space for all of us to learn from one another you have been students in this course and i hope that you enjoyed being students in this course and i hope you learned something from being students in this course so that you go back to your own classrooms and make that joyful uh, process for your students also that interactivity or you know dr pinky had this wonderful idea that before they join the course itself why don't they talk about what is their expectation of their course what do they know of strategic management why have they chosen this strategic management course you can have a discussion for him even before the course begins and that moodle allows without moodle you cannot have a discussion before students come to the classroom but once enrollment is over and students have not yet joined nothing stops you from doing a moodle course like that initially students will not write we also know even for us when we have to post in moodle we post two lines we are afraid to post it 20 lines is very difficult for us because we are not used to thinking out of the box but as we start typing more and more and we express more and more in moodle it is actually our own learning and if in your classroom you can enable students to become collaborative learner i think that is the highest point of uh, i don't think bloom's taxonomy even captures that because bloom's taxonomy talks about individual learning and that therefore critical learning or you know uh, analytical learning it is still at an individual level but i think the highest joy for a teacher is like when pinky dr pinky presents and other people learn from dr pinky for it for change it's a very it's an occasion of great joy we feel oh wonderful that participants are learning from one another sorry i'm lecturing i'm boring all of you my request to all of you is take the spirit of collaborative learning to your own classroom so that your students will also enjoy your i'm sure they're enjoying your classes i have no doubt about that but uh, you know they can enjoy like the way you're enjoying enjoying here uh, with that i will like to end unless anybody else wants to say anything Malati, madam, thank you, Dr. Malati. Thank you for your comments and for engaging. Thank you so much, sir. All of thank us. you very much. You know, we are all first-time swimmers, and always first-time swimmer is afraid of drowning. Yes, sir. It's only with practice that the swimmer, you know, swimming becomes automatic. But first time, you are afraid that you are going to drown. You are sure you are going to drown, and for that, the attempts of everybody in this uh, for eight presentations, like you rightly told, their presentations have been really marvelous. I mean, everybody has struggled. It's not been an easy journey. but don't yes. stop your struggles uh, uh, you know in the next couple of days continue struggling because swimming will come only if you practice it for weeks and months not for days it's like really a positive pressure sir all of us were for the past one yes. week we're yes. all facing actually hey <laughs> just actually the positive positive pressure no positive peer pressure is a wonderful expression yes, sir. yes. Oh, sir. actually hey yes actually here we are all are from social science faculty sir usually we go or lecture and some pay, talk some philosophy some talk some politics and leave the session leave the college <laughs> now it is it is uh, the landscape of teaching and learning is explored more and more for even social science humanities sir explore more sir yes sir yes sir so sorry i i know we are running out of time i just want to make one last comment in my first uh, talk also i said and i said i'm very sorry i apologize to all the faculty because i want to tell you frankly and we all know in school social science is seen as the most boring subject and this is a truth and if you were to take a election among school students they will put social studies at last geography history civics they'll say it's the most boring subject and i'm saying it with the with the sadness that i think these are the most beautiful subjects that are there 
and uh, nothing can be more beautiful than history and geography and political science unfortunately the way we have been teaching social science and this is not the fault of x or y you know i'm not blaming any individual our pedagogy of social sciences has been in school education completely lecture based and you know teacher will talk right on the board and your job is to memorize the grasslands of america grasslands of europe grasslands of asia but why why is that uh, just textual knowledge is of no use to the learner so but social studies offers a wonderful way of problematizing you know any teacher education or economics or sociology or history if you looking at history for example in karnataka elections if you will look at the election campaign it looks like tipu sultan is the main topic of the election <laughs> now why is tipu sultan the topic of an election when he is dead 200 years back right similarly in other states also we find that history is becoming uh, interpreted in different different ways our classes should talk about these challenges not because we want to politicize the students in one particular direction i may have my own political sympathies but my objective is not to make my students sympathizer of x or y party but can we critically think about why tipu sultan has become important in karnataka elections that is critical thinking and in bloom's taxonomy when you talk about critical thinking as the highest you know evaluation as we call it that is uh, really critical thinking you no know, rather than just cover what is there in the textbook i have taken far too much time 10 minutes into the next session but dr pinky's last words and then i'll hand over to my colleague uh, dr sonakshi uh, sir actually i just have one thing to say that now we are learning how to become teachers better teachers but uh, the the teachers that we have got on this particular uh, refresher course were wonderful especially thanks to you and rakesh sir the way you all you all have taught us i think that's all the encouragement one needs to work hard and and i mean i really had so i'm learning a lot from you thank you so much all the best we'll continue learning we'll continue learning together uh, dr sonakshi i hand over to you so roughly 10 minutes per presentation and because you have only five presentations you might want to uh, do all the five and then you can have an open discussion like you just uh, saw uh, us having right now Uh, we'll have economics. I'll linger on for for a few minutes, and then I will exit. Thank yes. you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Sir. Welcome, Sanakshi, ma'am. Thank you, and I'm absolutely. Thank not you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sanakshi. I'm actually not Dr. Sanakshi, but I've been working with ID for Change on uh, basically issues of labor and digital economy. I just before beginning, just want to confirm that I have all the right names uh, for this particular session. So, as per my list, there is Dr. K. Malti, yes, Dr. Nasia V. K., uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. A. Shamila, Dr. Suman Chakravarti, and uh, Mr. Paraj Das. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Yes, ma'am. No, you are not missing yes, anyone, ma'am. Right. Okay, sure. So, yes, we'll like, start in the same sequence. we we'll start in the same sequence and like guru sir suggested i'm just going to be keeping time and we'll get through all the presentations so okay. let's keep around 12 minutes for every presentation and then in the end if i have any comments or questions and like we did the open okay. floor for questions we can do that okay. is that shall i uh, yes sorry sure okay. sure okay Martina, so please. yeah yes, dr malathi please please begin i'll show my present sure Can you all see? Please tell yeah, me. Yeah, we were able to see your screen, but not. No, ma'am. I think you have um, exited the presentation. It's not seen. No, no. You no, just no. now shared and left immediately, ma'am. Oh, one second. You are able to see the login screen. Now, yes. Can you all see? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, good evening. Good evening to all my fellow participants. The Moodle course I have prepared is about ICT in agriculture in India. So this is the first one, uh, the introduction part, where I'm showing the will be uh, showing the concept map, which shows the structure and the sub topics of this course. So this is the concept map. and so this includes the importance of ict ict in agriculture a global perspective ict in india initiatives taken by the government 
uh, the advantages of using ICT in agriculture, the disadvantages of using ICT in agriculture, then few suggestions and conclusion. So this will be the first part of it, the introduction part. And then moving on to a small introduction, I've given the importance about using ICT. And then unit two is about I ITC in uh, agriculture, the global perspective. So here, um, there will be some important uh, information about Israel's technology over here. So how Israel has come out uh, very good in their, uh, uh, I mean, agriculture sector by using this agriculture knowledge online and uh, the way in which they have developed the ITCs and all this. Uh, so I have given that in my unit uh, too. And followed by uh, the uh, a small quiz. So here I've given a small quiz. And then unit three is about advantages of ICT in agriculture. So here, these are the advantages of agriculture. I mean, th these are the advantages of ICT in agriculture. So where I've given all in points and not explain anything here. Uh, so increased productivity, increased profit, better price, and increased uh, farmers' uh, income. And there is a small video here. I'll just uh, show a small video. But this video is not just uh, So this is about the importance of uh, agriculture and ICT. And then there is a discussion forum where the discussion about uh, uh, the advantages about ICT in agriculture for the students and then objective questions are given. So every under every unit I have given this uh, one quiz and all that. This is unit four where initiatives taken by Indian government for ITC in agriculture is given because Indian government has also taken a lot of steps to improve the ITC in agriculture, like each Opal, Kisan credit card, Kisan SMS portal, uh, GPS in agriculture, drones, etc. So that and all, I have just put it in a picture form. This is, of course, taken from my TPT, which I used to uh, take from my class. So these are the pictures which, shares, uh, which tells the importance about ICT. So this is about the remote sensing uh, thing in agri agriculture uh, sector. And this is use of uh, drones in agriculture sector. So all this in this particular unit. And here there will be a, a discussion for assignment again I've given. So write about the various initiatives that are taken by the government with regard to various uh, ICT methods in Indian agriculture. And then moving on to unit five, these are the problems. So there are, of, of course, there are a number of problems also when we use ICT in agriculture in India. So these are the important, again, I'm not given in any uh, anything in theoretical uh, thing. Uh, and then uh, here, uh, internet has grown, but the gaps in access remain between the rural and urban. So that also is here, with a, a small graph I've just taken. And this is a problem. Uh, these are the various problems in implementing ICT in Indian agriculture. So there will be a assignment given uh, to the students explaining about various uh, uh, problems that are faced in implementing ICT in Indian agriculture. Then moving on to the final one, the suggestions to improve ICT in Indian agriculture. So how to get high speed uh, internet in rural areas and all that. 
so improving the technical knowledge of farmers so uh, certain picks were taken uh, here and there and then uh, there is a discussion forum open to the students to give their suggestions to improve ict in agriculture and finally there will be a conclusion and uh, i thought of including a practical knowledge uh, about the, some of the apps which showcases a new ict applicable to agriculture so this is also for the students so they can come out with any important apps and all that so this is how i prepared my uh, course thanks for the opportunity given uh, thank you thank you ma'am uh, can we please uh, have the presentation from dr nasia vidya yes ma'am yes please go is it the screen ma'am not yet i am not able to see the screen ah uh, now it's uh, now it's present okay good afternoon sunashi ma'am and all of the who present here i'm uh, here uh, developing one e content uh, about utility in economics and uh, before going to uh, this um, topic uh, i am give one discussion forum in the announcement part for my participants uh, that is uh, uh, why these uh, people are rational in nature and i am give it in a, a discussion forum and uh, only uh, um, with this um, uh, discussion i can move to the uh, concept about my uh, present e content that is uh, the utility and for uh, explaining the utility uh, e content developed by me in this genomi uh, app uh, model course uh, that is i am explaining the brief explanation about my e content that is utility in economics with the help of one concept mapping that is uh, uh, created with the help of preplane um, and that is uh, here i am uh, give a brief explanation about my e content and all other um, in all the uh, parts uh, i will give certain notes and also give certain ppts prepared by me and also certain uh, web links uh, that is the students can access uh, with this linking uh, clicking that link and uh, then giving certain assignments and also certain assessment uh, using this um, uh, term utility and um, i also um, make one uh, video using uh, word screen um, using this uh, concept mapping and i am uh, just i play that video just i briefly explained what is the mm, course about my this developed by me about the utility in economics voice is clear ma'am this uh, course i am uh, making yeah voice is clear activities uh, related to the course and it is to be um, up yes and after i uh, i am going to uh, make one meaning is the one satisfying power of the commodity measured and also how the ordinary utility is to be uh, the uh, economist says that the utility into the diminishing marginal utility here i'm uh, making one um, ppt that is done by me when the students click in this ppt they can get one of diminishing marginal when the students um, uh, making one uh, web link that is youtube link uh, related to uh, consumer equilibrium using ordinal utility and uh, for explaining that i am here using one ppt of okay uh, then i um, move to the course introduction to my e content and what is the meaning and how what is the importance of utility in economics we all know about that the um, uh, theory of demand that is uh, what is the main thing that human being are having um, um, get from this having a good or service that is uh, the satisfaction and how the satisfaction is to be measured and how the consumer can move to an equilibrium position in this uh, satisfaction mode that is to be explained in this course and for that i am here uh, making one um, 
assignment for my students before taking the class that is uh, in uh, your own words please write what is the meaning of utility and um, i give certain directions or all about this um, assignment and next time move to the objectives about my e content that is here i am giving certain uh, four uh, objectives about this course and what after this course what will be uh, the students can learn from this course that is uh, in this uh, objectives and next time move to the uh, different um, uh, course units i am prepared for this e content and first unit uh, i um, explaining the uh, meaning and types of utility with the help of introduction to utility part and second uh, chapter uh, unit i go to explain the one of the um, type of utility that is the cardinal utility analysis and here i am going to discussing about the important um, theories related to cardinal utility analysis and next unit the ordinal utility analysis here also i am uh, giving certain theories related to ordinal utility analysis and the how the consumer can attain the equilibrium in this ordinal utility analysis and in the fourth chapter i will give some new uh, theory uh, about the consumer behavior that is revealed preference forward by paul samuelson and now i uh, move to the uh, detailed um, content of this course that is the unit one introduction to utility here i'm explaining this um, utility uh, the meaning of utility and types of utility by giving one note and this uh, this about the notes and here um, detailed de detailed explaining what is the meaning and what are the types marginal total cardinal and ordinal utility and um, after that uh, i will move to the uh, second um, chapter the second unit of my course that is um, cardinal utility here the cardinal utility uh, theory uh, mainly uh, the utility can be measured with the uh, help of cardinal numbers it will be given by certain economists uh, just like alpha marshall uh, uh, etc and here um, i give the, um, the two important theories related to this cardinal utility by um, putting uh, one ppt prepared by me and after clicking this the uh, students can get the ppt and they can prepare uh, the notes uh, related to this uh, ppt and again um, uh, i give another important this is the first uh, uh, theory law of diminishing marginal utility uh, put forward by alpha machine and it is also called the gossens first law in the part of cardinal utility and again uh, after that i um, give one uh, quiz uh, to students uh, who are attempting um, the part of cardinal utility and here i am put um, giving um, Uh, uh, Dr. Nasia, your voice is uh, breaking. Yes, ma'am. Is it breaking? Yeah, now it's clear. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. Okay. Please continue. Okay, ma'am. Now I am in uh, quiz position now. Okay. Here I'm giving uh, three questions, uh, two questions, uh, multiple choice, and uh, uh, one question is uh, for a short note question. And after that, um, I move to just one minute. And the next important uh, theory related to this uh, cardinal utility analysis, that is the EQ marginal utility. And the students can get uh, this um, EQ marginal utility link by clicking this link. They can get another. Uh, uh, PPT prepared by me uh, about this law of EQ marginal utility and what is the uh, important uh, um, the theory and about this uh, EQ marginal utility. And again, I move to the third part of this uh, course that is uh, related to the utility that is one minute, ma'am. Uh, 
community and and here giving one uh, the uh, other imp uh, another important uh, thing is ordinary utility that is consumer equilibrium part and also for that i am giving one ppt and next the last uh, unit i give one um, review preference theory uh, here um, i give one um, web link uh, for um, youtube link for getting uh, certain uh, new ideas about this revealed preference theory i will give this link and assignment for my students um, how um, uh, to uh, after uh, getting the uh, two important concepts related to utility that is cardinal utility and ordinal utility and just to, to make a comparison um, uh, be, be, between um, these two and again i give another assignment what is that uh, uh, please connect the term of utility into your daily life and uh, explain how it is working uh, marginal utility if it is um, something like a um, ordinal um, ordinal thing or it is a preferred thing that is strong ordering thing like etc and after the um, course uh, the four uh, units completed i will give uh, some test paper um, uh, using um, uh, 10 questions related to this utility part and uh, this uh, this is given in a word page and uh, there are 10 questions uh, and each questions carry two marks and if the students can attend this exam um, after getting uh, the um, 50 percentage of mark from this they can uh, get a certificate about this course that is the thing i will give and again after that i will uh, put one google uh, form uh, google form that is about the feedback and also in this feedback i will uh, give certain questions about my course um, how is it is uh, how the general state of the class and how is the course content and please evaluate the audio visual connectivity etc i will uh, give in this um, form and after filling uh, this um, form, they will get the um, certificate also. This is the thing I will give. And uh, I put one audio uh, related to, and uh, this audio will be uh, created uh, with the help of Audacity app. And just I will uh, play this one. Today we are going to studying about the country and it is to be measured with the measurement uh, that is util and with this of this utility is what is total utility the term is marginal utility and this, uh, these are the important things I am uh, including in this um, e content development. And after uh, the, the last uh, part, I will give certain references, uh, just like books and site address for the participants. And uh, these are the uh, presentation of me, sir. Uh, Madam, uh, I am uh, trying to put uh, all the apps and uh, all the technologies uh, you are providing us, the, techno the team IT for Change uh, providing us uh, for including into my e-content development um, uh, how much is it is, uh, I don't know but I will I haven't uh, confident uh, about that I can prepare a good presentations good uh, e-content in the future thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you Dr. Nasia this was a very good and extensive presentation and yes it's great to hear from you that you feel confident i think that is the best feedback right for even it for change uh thank you uh can we go ahead thank and have the presentation from dr shamala yes ma'am good evening to all uh myself shamala i'm sh i'm new to this platform ma'am and i'm still in the learning phase today i've chosen a general topic about gst in the concept mapping, I have highlighted the topic which I am going to cover today. First, uh, given meaning about GST, introduction, how does it works, and the features of GST, relevance of GST, and uh, value addition, and a uh, tax structure. Tax in the, uh, in the tax structure, we are going to see about the uh, previous tax, uh, tax structure and the current tax structure. 
and importance of gst and how gst help on the uh, common man and uh, then the pros and cons about uh, gst so here i have introduced i have uh, placed on our audio link using the audio city to explain about the definition of gst audible ma'am uh no actually i can't uh, hear it eh yeah. can you hear me can you hear the audible madam i can hear voice? you but i can't hear the audacity okay 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 ma'am but i can hear that voice okay then when come uh, then uh, in, the, in the in the introduction part of the gst I want to say that uh, India has implemented the GST law 2000 from July 1st, and it has adopted the du dual GST model, the one followed by Canada. The most crucial aspect of this tax regime is that uh, rate of GST that prevails on the various categories of products. GST the rate slab starts from 5 percentage, 12 percentage, 18 percentage, and 28 percentage. And uh, I have placed uh, one link to article. Uh, on uh, the for reference purpose i have provided a link to an article and uh, when coming to how gst works on uh, C cgst sgst and igst and here i have uh, i will play uh, attached one video link uh, for the reference of the students and uh, after that relevance of gst and uh, when coming to the features of gst here i want uh, want to say how the value addition is added to the product first let us assume that a manufacturer wants to make a shirt from this he must buy yarn this gets turned into a shirt after manufacture so the value of the yarn is increased when it gets woven into a shirt then the manufacturer sells it to the warehousing agent who attaches labels and tag to each shirt that is another addition of value after which the varo sells it to the retailers who packages each shirt separately and invest it in marketing of the shirt thus increasing its value so gst will be levied on all transactions happening during the entire manufacturing chain earlier when, it, when a product was manufactured the center would levy an excise duty on the manufacturer and then the state will add a vat tax when the item is sold to the next stage in the cycle then there would be a vat at the next point of sale but now uh, this uh, gst will be levied at every point of sale that is uh, the, assume that the entire manufacture process is happening in rajasthan and the final point of sale is in tamil nadu since the uh, gst is levied at the point of conception so the state of rajasthan will get revenue in the manufacturing and warehousing stages but laws out on the revenue when the product moves out to rajasthan and reaches the end consumer in tamil nadu this means that tamil nadu will earn that revenue on the final sale because it is the destination based tax and this revenue will be collected at the final point of destination which is tamil nadu and uh, after that the uh, here i point out about the importance of gst and uh, how gst helps india and uh, common man here that i have uh, uh, shown about the previous tax structure and the current tax structure and the pros uh, in a nutshell i want to say about the pros of uh, about uh, gst that is gst is a transparent tax and also reduces number of indirect taxes it will not be a cost to registered retailers therefore there will be no hidden taxes and the cost of doing business will be lower in the gst system and all the taxes are integrated it would make possible the taxation burden to be split equitably between manufacturing and services and uh, when coming to the cons about the gst some economists say that gst in india would impact negatively on the real estate market it would add up to the 8% to the cost of new homes and reduce demand by about 12% some experts says that cgst sgst are nothing but 
new names for central excise or service tax or VAT and CST. Hence, there is no major reduction in the number of tax layers. So at the end, I have attached a quiz for the students to know about their understanding about GST. This is my work done on a Moodle course platform, ma'am. Still, I have to do more on this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Can we go ahead, please, to the next presentation by uh, Dr. Suman Chakrabarti? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm audible? Yes. Okay. Just, I would like to share my screen. Sure. Ma'am, is it visible? Yes, no. yes. It's visible. Dr. Chakrabarti, can you hear me? objective Actually, what they will learn from here uh sorry dr chachibarti am i audible yes, yes uh, you i had actually lost your voice a little bit if you could just begin again please okay thank you uh, madam uh, now i'm audible yes okay. uh myself dr suman chakravati assistant professor in economics at raja inel khan women's college minnapur west bengal uh, my topic is uh, demand theory on economics, especially for microeconomics. I have started with uh, learning objectives. Actually, what the students will be getting uh, to learn this particular topic. Uh, that uh, very simple, the student will be able to uh, define and explain the law of demand, types of demand, different factors, effect of demand, and uh, differences, normal goods, inferior goods, given goods, so much things. So I have structured in such way. First, I have started with, uh, that is the map, I mean, uh, by using Moodle, I have used the concept map. Is it visible, ma'am, the concept map? Hello? Yes, it is visible. Okay. And I have explained uh, this concept map through one small video. I'd like to start it by clicking here. And why is it audible? Uh, no, I can hear you presenting, but the video I cannot hear. Video, we cannot. Oh, wait, wait. Now, uh, now, uh, no, is it playing right now? No, I cannot hear. It. Sorry, okay. I just then, after completion of that, that particular uh, concept map, that is, that is the concept map where I have explained the entire units, and also here in concept map, I want to edit one particular. Uh, video uh, what i have shown in our small video how it will be work When the video is visible now? It's visible, yes. It's not audible, but it's visible. OK, now I'd like to go to the next section. Uh, here, I have given the introduction of the theory of demand. Here, I have explained the meaning of uh, demand, demand function, basic differences between needs, wants, and demand, demand schedule, uh, change of demand, change of quantity demand, etc. Here, also, I have given one, I have added one video related to the topic. And is it audible? No. Again, uh, the video is visible. But the sound is not. 
do you think you can change some setting to make that happen okay guys keep the video then after completion of that i have explained the different units in such way that first i have given the definition of demand uh, then uh, the types of demand there is a so many uh, types of demand with final demand derived join composite individual market demand etc etc then i have also explained here uh, what are the factors responsible for demand i mean uh, by which factor if we change the demand can be changed the demand curve can be shifted there is a uh, small uh, the explanation of that and after that i have explained the law of demand Uh, here i have given also the exceptional cases of law of demand uh, for normal case is the genuine case of law of demand then the exceptional cases like speculative goods conspicuous goods uh, uh, demand for necessaries natural calamities given goods etc and here i have pasted one link if any student take here just check uh, one particular information will be open is the clear ma'am this information is clear na is it visible i think yes, yes. okay so just after when uh, if if as per need so student can study here then yes again i come back here so after uh, that clicking the link the student will be getting obviously information related that then i have discussed the different types of demand curve in genuine cases it is uh, uh, downward sloping negatively sloped but in special cases it may take uh, upward horizontal vertical and for that again i have attached one video related to that i just would like to click here so for few seconds the given the exceptional cases like this is the genuine normal cases then this is the exceptional cases like that okay ma'am now the next next part here uh, i have to discuss on vital part the assessment uh, here uh, we, we can assess a student by using uh, mcq descriptive test uh, presentation viva oral based test or assessment on a particular topic here i have given one mcq just for a model i think it is visible yes Yes, that's a uh, given. Just simple question: What is the slope of a demand curve for normal goods? So that's for a particular model. Nothing more than that. And next, also I have pasted one assignment like this. Uh, the student will make an assignment: recent recent change of pattern of de on demand. I mean, according to new generation, is there any changes? If there is, which type of changes they should explain by making a project or assignment uh, like that. now also i have pasted one discussion link here here this is the discussion link if a student interested to discuss with me with other student they can click here and go for that then i have uh, given some uh, simple explanation of course uh, transaction methodologies uh, i can use the ict like audio mode video mode powerpoint presentation etc then obviously the one of the vital uh, duty of teachers like we have to explain their uh, about their material Of which which books uh, they will study? It may be e-book, maybe printed books. There is a lot of things, but I, I have here given only seven. All are very good, but here I have, uh, I have preferred these seven, like Parvusan Gold, uh, D N Dubedi, uh, Tuswani's Ahuja, uh, then Aninda Sen uh, by Ruben Phil Pindi, and also Sathya. Um, thank you, ma'am. That was my uh, area of presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Sumit. Uh, uh, can we go ahead to the next presentation by Mrs. Swaraj Das? Thank you, ma'am. I'd like to stop it. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, very, a very good afternoon. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to present today. I'm the last participant here. so uh, i'll be presenting a course prepared by me on my topic game theory and its application uh, in the moodle platform so ma'am am i audible yes okay so uh, i'm just sharing my screen
Ma'am, is it visible? Yeah. It's visible. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, so as far as my topic is concerned, it is like uh, uh, game theory and its application in the policy making. So my topic is basically, it is uh, game theory is basically a tool. It is not something of that kind of a uh, regular traditional kind of a theory or something like that. Uh, it, it, this tool was used uh, mainly in the field of mathematics extensively. Uh, uh, and later it has it, it is being used in the different fields of uh, like psychology, uh, in the mathematics, also in economics. OK, and most important in the process of like uh, when we are selecting some candidates in, in some job interview, we we use this strategy. We use this strategy of game theory. OK, so uh, on the first um, uh, uh, in my section one, I have uh, used, um, I have explained that what is game theory, what it is all about. Okay, I have taken the uh, taken the stun the standard definition from Investopedia, its website. Okay, it says that it is basically in a simple word I can explain game theory as like two or more individuals they have then they know something about each other or they may know not they may not know something about each other but they are rational and they are the profit maximizers so what they do they take some optimal strategies in order to pay off that is basically the game okay our life uh, and its decisions are basically it's a bigger part of uh, it's a smaller part of a bigger game okay so uh, so first in the in the in the first module I have uh, given uh, the, uh, the standard definition of game theory and who are the proponents of this theory, uh, theory like mathematician John uh, von Neumann and economist Oscar Morgenstein uh, in the 1940s developed this theory. And later, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Lloyd Shapley and uh, uh, John Forbes Nash is a famous mathematician all of us has, have uh, heard about. So he, uh, he developed the theory since from 1950s. Okay, so next, uh, in the subsection of the first module, I have given uh, the origin of the game theory. Uh, I'm apologize. Yeah. So in the uh, I have I have shared a short video on that. Okay. Sorry, ma'am, I'm just sure. Okay. Uh, I apologize, ma'am. I have to, uh, there's some internet connection problem, so I have to again log in. Please, yeah, yeah. that's okay. You can take some time. Yeah. You are not dying, so. If you want to uh, stop presenting while you log in, you can do that. Yeah. Now, is it visible, ma'am? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. okay. So, uh, 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 the origin of the game theory, I have given, I have, I have uploaded it, uh, uh, uploaded a video. Okay. Now, I come to the objectives of, in the in the, in the next section. I, I I come to the objectives of studying the game theory. The objective is uh, is basically to make competing individuals take the optimal decision in the strategy making. Okay. And there are other two uh, like. Uh, how can we use that in the real world scenario how can we you know understand each other's motives and make uh, our like uh, some profit maximizing or, or our, our optimal decision using the, using the concept of game theory now i come to uh, i have used the 
outline of the course through the concept uh, through concept mapping okay here i have used the uh, the voco spin app uh, when i Mrs. Swaraj, I have lost your, your. I can't hear you anymore. Yeah, not audible, sir. Okay. Can you also please just give me uh, just one minute? There is somebody at the door, and I just need to check. Just one minute, please. Uh yeah hello sorry for that I'm back uh so can I, I start ma'am yes yes please. Sure. thank you. So, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, so, in, uh, in the next section, it uh, I have given the objectives of studying the game theory. The objectives are simple. Okay, to understand that how the rational competing individuals behave and how they reach their optimal, uh, how how they uh, how they adopt the optimal strategy to attain the maximum payoff. Okay. Next, I have given uh, an overall outline of the course through the concept of mapping. Okay, uh, and in this respect, I have used. The app called uh, Oppo Speed. Uh, okay. Next, I have also given an. Uh, I have uploaded an image of the uh, my basic uh, uh, concept mapping. Okay. So uh, on the. Uh, in the next section, I come to the concept of Nash equilibrium, which is very essential part of uh, my my presentation. Okay, so basically, Nash equilibrium is, uh, as explained, is like the set of strategies which the competing individuals adopt, and uh, that optimal strat and from that optimal strategy, they do they do not have any incentive to deviate. Okay, so the so that is max. Uh, that is basically a concept of Nash equilibrium. I have also uploaded a video regarding that. Okay, so uh, okay. So uh, after after explaining the Nash equilibrium through definitions and through the online uh, the online video resource, I have uploaded something uh, for the students. Uh, sorry. Um. Okay, I have uh, I I have uh, I have I've, I've developed uh, an and uh, a study material for the students where I have explained what what prisoner's dilemma is. Prisoner's dilemma is basically a famous game. Okay, uh, using the concept of Nash equilibrium, and and I have also used the concept of Nash equilibrium in the application in the real life by how I we can use the concept of Nash equilibrium in the environmental and climate change policy. Okay, so the here it, it since it is a very elaborate topic, I have I have to explain this game. So I have used I have taken the help of you know uploading the file rather than you know directly posting uh, on my website. Okay. Okay. Now uh, now I come to the last concept of my uh, uh, my project that is the mixed strategy and Nash equilibrium assessment here also i had uh, uploaded 
something uh, since it is uh, i had to do like an uh, assignment uh, for the students like the study material so i had to calculate that sum okay it is also uh, it is also a famous game like a battle of six uh, battle of sixes game when where husband and wife you know they are very confused about whether uh, i mean whether to visit any football match or to visit any theater okay so it is uh, detailed uh, explained in detail here okay now in the uh, in the next section i have given them uh, project work uh, it's a past part of my assignment to the student okay so in the project work like uh, i have told them i have uh, i have told them that uh, they should think of any hypothetical situation and they should construct their own game so that they can you know uh, uh, rather than spoon feeding they can uh, gain a first hand experience of what it is like game is all about okay and uh, and the assignment to have given like the find the mixed strategy equilibrium in the case of the above question okay so the first uh, i have told them to first make a uh, make a game and then to uh, formulate the pure and uh, mixed strategy nash equilibrium okay, okay. Uh, so uh, as a part of assignment 2 i have also given uh, them as a given a mcq which i created in the form of the quiz okay so this is my quiz i have given a uh, just the uh, three questions okay three mcq questions uh, the marks for each will be five and all uh, all of them they have to answer okay okay and last uh, in the last section i have given a conclusion uh, explaining that how, what is the motive of this course and how they will be benefited from this course and uh, uh, last i have given the uh, the references there are many more references uh, but i have given you know the, the selected three the osborne mj and rubin standard course in game theory textbook and this is a famous paper and this is a uh, this is a website uh, from where i have taken the definitions basic definitions and all my uh contents uh, www.investopedia.com so i have tried to use uh, all the online resources which has been taught uh, by our respected uh faculty members of id for change so i am very thankful to them so i don't know how far i am uh, able to express uh, it uh, in a meticulous way but uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. No, no, that was a very clear and descriptive presentation. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this was a very good overall set of presentations. I think uh, now that we are done with all and we do have some time, I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead with some of, I mean, a couple of my comments and maybe a question for some of you, and then I will just open up the floor like Lisa did for all of you to maybe ask each other anything or comment if that is uh, something that you want to do. So I will just begin with uh, Dr. Madhati. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, thank you for your presentation, ma'am. I think something that I really liked was that uh, you put a quiz after every unit. And I think in terms of uh, retaining what we have learned and from keeping uh, from the perspective of keeping it interactive, I think that's a very good idea. Thank you. Uh, it's a lot. Um, I did also just want to ask you that since, I mean, uh, you know, you kept your presentation very point wise and in bullet points and you mentioned it also a couple of times, just wanted to ask what your thinking was behind wanting to keep it in that format. What is mine? Can you please repeat it, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. So throughout your presentation, I mean, it was mostly like bullet points, right? And yes. you mentioned also that you did not want to have too much heavy text. Okay. So I just wanted to ask you what your thinking was from, you know, a teaching perspective. Okay. Okay. This is basically about this course, right? Basically about this, this course. See, this is mainly about ICT in agriculture. And so one more important thing is we know that farmer suicide is increasing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to make this course as a very important one, showing the transformation from the traditional method of cultivation to the modern uh, implements by using uh, ICTs and all that. And mm -hmm. so I have divided the units like that. So generally, what is the uh, information about ICT I'm giving? And next is I'm giving a global perspective. Now, why should I give more about global perspective is because Israel is a country like India, which, but 
there is also water scarcity and all that but they have developed so much by using icts the modern technologies and all that so i i wanted to bring in the uh, other countries examples there in the unit too and next is of course indian government has also brought in lot of ict say for example i i i gave in that uh, m krishi sms portal kisan credit cards everything so there i have given only in points but everything will be explained in the course so what is the function about everything and i even showed a small uh, a video which says about the uh, what is the need for transformation why do we need this kind of a transformation from traditional method to a modern uh, thing because uh, see we talk about um, uh, i mean we talk about the prices we talk about uh, the farmer suicide and we talk about all this now so we need a kind of transformation and that is what is the important thing of course in every unit i have given some a uh, discussion forum quiz and everything so that will sure. uh, help them to uh, think in an analytical way and creative uh, thinking also and finally sure. i also said that they will be bringing up uh, a, a kind of a app or something like that so that it will give a uh, i mean a kind of uh, encouragement right. to thank you ma'am thank you the only i think the only suggestion that uh, i yeah. may have on this is that if you want to use the hyperlinks option to maybe connect students to any okay. detailed information that might Definitely. be also nice but of course it will depend on what yeah yeah sure that. sure thank, thank you so much uh, okay okay madam uh, moving to dr nasia's presentation uh, dr yes, Nasia, i i like the fact that you put a discussion forum question before the course started and uh, also that you used quite a few features you know that are part of the moodle course in terms of the hyperlinks and embedding the videos and also making a video of the concept map i think it was a very uh, multimedia type of a course content creation which i think i really like so thank yeah, you for yeah. that uh, uh, yeah i i suppose i just wanted to ask you about the discussion forum i mean like what was your thinking behind putting a question for the discussion forum before starting the course if you want to talk a bit about yes this. yes ma'am uh, because uh, when we start a course uh, we want to know how much knowledge the students have about the concept and then uh, i will give um, certain more um, uh, ideas about that topic and when uh, when they put certain uh, their own ideas in that uh, box i can discussion uh, i can make certain uh, things clear, very clearly and i can put um, forward many points um, related to their uh, their ideas that's why i ask one discussion forum before i start my course Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thanks so much. Thanks. Uh, moving to Dr. Shwamila's presentation about GST. Thank you for your presentation, ma'am. Um, I like the fact that you used uh, like a picture and a visual illustration. I think yeah, that was so a good break from the text. Uh, I just wanted to confirm, Dr. Shwamila, because towards the end I wasn't sure. I think you mentioned that you are yet to finish completing the units fully. Is it? No, ma'am. It's a because it is a general topic. I have not uh, split it into a unit. Okay. Fine. Just uh, given the meaning and the introduction like that. Okay. No. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, moving to Dr. Chakrabarti's presentation on demand theory. Uh, again, sir, I uh, it was quite uh, nice that you put up a lot of videos. Thank and, you, sir. And uh, I also Thank found you. it uh, interesting that you started with a video and you know an at a glance kind of unit before moving. To other unit so i think that was interesting uh i just wanted to yeah ask i mean if you had a particular thought process behind you know going with that instead of maybe like a standard way of introduction and then video and then this like if you want to talk yeah. about why you decided to structure it a certain way uh, I, I, actually i thought of a plan because in the time of covid mm -hmm. we have taken so many online classes but initially you have started like formal uh, classes but after completion of that I thought if we uh, make some different compared to others, that we started one a small video, there is introduction to others, then uh, by using, uh, I have learned concept mapping by use these. Yeah, that's why I have made it. And I have also given some materials by link, by my own material. If they click, they will be getting the PDF file, everything. Yeah. To think about my students and also think about these, these uh, particular presentation, I made it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. 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 Th
thank you sir so i just wanted to uh, oh i also wanted to mention that it's great that you put a discussion link also i just wanted to ask because towards the end you had a post transaction methods uh, slide as well yeah. was that for the benefit of like our internal discussion or you plan to no, no for these uh, those uh, who are not my students but if they want to know that uh, online method suppose they do not know how to teach or etc so for them i have given that i can uh, teach the student by using this video mode audio mode and module etc that's why i have given some some just for, for for my followers okay sir. thank you uh, moving and one thing i like to share ma'am yes uh, i am very much thankful to uh, that is it change uh, for uh, that is because i have talked with our principal ma'am uh, to make that type of things in our college Now, uh, college there is a huge uh, 28 branches are there. There is a master's degree, PhD is also. And uh, according to her person, I like to share. She said first we would like to start one thing. We like to uh, make a hands-on training after completion of your these uh, RC repressor course. You can come here and we'll go for a uh, hands-on training here. Then we'll start to uh, prepare some materials by all the teachers taken together. Then we'll go for students. And it's really uh, very good oh. to me. That we will that's launch this type of course very soon. First step in onwards in our country. No, no, that's very Thank encouraging, you, you, sir. And I'll pass it on to Rakesh sir and uh, Guru sir also. I'm sure they'll be very. Thank you, ma'am. Really, we are grateful uh, to this course. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, moving to Dr. Uh, Swaraj's, uh, Mr. Swaraj's presentation. Uh, yes. Sir, I think I really liked the fact that you tried to keep it applicative, and so you used the hyperlinks function also. to Thank put in a couple of notes about the application of the concept and also to put in an assignment in between uh, so i like those things a lot i like that you put a video uh, so that's that's also it makes it interactive uh, i yeah again because i noticed that you first gave an introduction of the concept of game theory and then put in a concept map of how you were yes, going to proceed yes, so just because that uh, struck out as different i wanted to ask what your thought process was behind going with that order actually ma'am that uh, i mean I, when i'm presenting i must explain i think that i must explain what i'm speaking about mm -hmm. that that thing so it may sound it it may look a bit odd that i'm just explaining you know the main concept mapping later but i think I, on, on in the first instance i need to, to tell them mm -hmm. to attract uh, the students like the what i am going to teach what i am uh, going to tell that, that about and then i just come to you know what i have like previously done or what i am going to do right. and unfortunately due to time constraint i i wanted to explain you know the games the prisoner's dilemma and all those things like, it's it's very interesting it's very yeah. funny it's taken from real life example and my and my topic is not a regular theory as i have told game theory is basically a tool yes. okay we, we use it everywhere in uh, in in our life in the maybe in the jobs in the psychology and all but unfortunately i could explain that thing and since those were like the bigger one like the i i think i had to write many things so i took the help of like uh, like adding files rather than you know posting it thank mm, you that was a good idea thank you sir for explaining that and uh, i will just conclude with i think a couple of uh, general comments which may or may not be useful but i mean these are for everyone and it's not uh, particularly about one presentation one thing is just like a very small point that whenever we're using concept maps maybe you would like to just make sure that it is the text size is zoomed out a little bit because it's a lot of information into one image so say if if it is an online format course and i am one of the learners it was a little bit difficult for me to kind of read the concept map texts so it might be a limitation of the format but if it's possible then maybe like using larger text might be useful and uh, the second thing i wanted to say was just a general caution about the links to further information that we use uh, i mean you know just to ensure basic checks such as okay is the website a credible website I, i mean you know we should not go ahead and put like a wikipedia link for example because we can't always ensure the authenticity of the sources there so yeah just those two general uh, comments but of course like everyone's already put a lot of thought into the course content because you guys are the experts so no comments from me over there but thank you very much this was a learning experience for me as well and we do have 15 minutes so if any of you would like to make any comments or ask each other about your presentations please go ahead and uh, yeah i'm going on mute now and the floor is open thank you ma'am
any questions from anyone or any comment about the presentation or anything in general ma'am i had uh, one question regarding you know uh, the hello ma'am are you listening ma yeah yeah i'm here please go ahead okay i had one question regarding you know the, uh, when i when i'm uploading some you know uh, not video like the pictures okay mm -hmm. i mean uh, i just uh, i just wanted to know how we know that you know the those pictures were like copyrighted or something like that uh, so that is the pro problem we are usually i put there like it since it is given in the public domain i have chosen the option public domain mm -hmm. but uh, one may i don't know one may see um, uh, so that's the right no no that how right. do i know that how it how yeah that's a very important question uh, so i mean i think two things that i can tell you on that front uh, one is of course i mean if you pick up say an image from google and we know that it's from a website or from another person's presentation or something usually a safe way to use that is to just simply put a caption below the image saying source and then the url or courtesy of and then you just put the organization or the person whose presentation it is because it just kind of puts us uh, you know away from any blame of copyright yeah. issues and so on because we are clearly stating from what source we've taken so like we apply that concept to text the same uh, concept applies to image as well uh secondly there are uh, some websites that put up images expressly saying that they are under something called the creative commons license basically what that means is that it is okay for such images to be used freely for educational purposes so i think that even if you like look up on the internet and uh, search for copyright free images or creative commons license images it should be helpful but in any case i want to take this question back to rakesh sir as well in case he can suggest more specific uh, answers but yeah these are two inputs that i think i can give at this point but i'm looking at this question and I'll, i can also come back to the specific answers thank you anybody else from here who has any uh, opinions or answers to this if we can help swarat sir so swarat sir we had uh, already discussed about this uh, uh, if you go to google images Yeah. and click on tools uh, you can just drop down there is something called the creative commons i think so uh, maybe some of the images you will get from there and there are few sites like uh, i think unsplash uh, uh, some few sites are there which also was discussed in our class one of the classes i think right so they also provide us um, uh, some uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, photographs uh, which are of good quality Uh, which are not uh, uh, copyrighted or we can use it uh, as such right thank you sir i'll check sure right uh, i'll also check my notes and maybe i'll uh, maybe share it uh, uh, tomorrow or in the next class right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. thank you sir thank you thank you sir uh, yes please any other questions or comments any any more comments uh, or uh, uh, any questions to ma'am anyone or all of you are tired to you know uh, run to uh, <laughs> run to the coffee yeah. table <laughs> it's been a long uh, it's been a long session that's completely yes. understandable it's absolutely fine of course to end before time but since we had the time i think if anybody has anything it made sense ma'am i think one of the candidates uh, one of the participants had mentioned that um, uh, you know they, she had prepared everything mm. but um, uh, after logging in uh, mm. the screen, nothing is visible in the screen oh. so i had um, asked her to contact uh, uh, rakesh sir directly yeah. maybe do, if you if you can suggest some solution with that um, sure sir on moodle technicalities i'm not the best person to come okay. up uh, with the answers but yeah it's best that uh, the Lonor has gotten in touch with Rakesh sir. It may right. be some trouble uh, with the saving option or something like that. So. Yes, uh, maybe some option may have been clicked off. So uh, because Correct. of which viewability has been lost. So. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate that they had worked on the presentation, but Rakesh sir should be able to help with that. Yes. And uh, any other questions from anyone? Anything you know on anything with regard to e-content, you can uh, ask. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I can't answer, I can definitely take yes. it back to the expert. So even if you want to ask a question here for an answer later, that also you can. 
ma'am one thing what about the you no know, when we are uh, the student is viewing this uh, 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 this e module mm -hmm. right that we have prepared mm -hmm. now uh, everything comes in the center of the web page right so mm -hmm. uh, the font size is too small mm -hmm. right so is there um, uh, any different way to make it a bit larger or viewer other than you know we clicking it into uh, the browser's uh, zoom index mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Again, I'm sorry, we are going to respond to you, but I'm noting this question okay. about how to make the text fold mm -hmm. larger. I just wanted to ask from my end if uh, mostly the intent of developing the C content is for the learners to use it independently, or is it also visualized to be used, you know, with the support of your live teaching, or it can be both ways? I was wondering how how it was visualized by you all like is it to be used on its own or is it to also maybe be used along with the live class or something like that uh, yes ma'am this is uh, the plan is such that only we are planning to use it along with our class uh -huh. as of now we are already using because uh, for me uh, i'm uh, i teach geography okay. right so i use uh, both uh, uh, google classroom as well okay. as uh, regular no i go to regular classes teach in the classroom so mm -hmm. whatever videos i have recorded earlier i post it through uh, google classroom right uh, give materials uh, share materials through them do tests through that oh. right uh, so uh, you know we can keep track uh, basic minimum track but uh, <laughs> if someone is accessing or not we cannot say no, no, right? so that that we will not be able to know but moodle right. is this uh, this kind of a uh, uh, what you call platform which is exclusively designed for this will be able to track whether the student has seen that or not so in google classroom it is not possible so right, uh, right. that is one of the reason <laughs> right uh, we, we i joined this session basically for that okay Maybe to the enrollment it. you can track if somebody on yes okay. anyone else okay ma'am then I'll uh, uh, express uh, my sincere thanks to you on behalf of the participants and uh, uh, HRDC Calicut University right, uh, for uh, providing us uh, some of the best solutions or suggestions uh, to improve the uh, presentations uh, or our Moodle course access that we have prepared. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Thank, and you. All thank, the you, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks to, thank you. to all of you. Okay, guys, so we'll meet on uh, Monday, right? So everyone be ready <laughs> with their presentation. <laughs> so those who have completed, they are all in uh, the seventh heaven, right? <laughs> uh, sir, one small request, uh, can, we get our, can we get the PPTs so that we, if at all there are MCQs, we can yes. read, no? Yes, yes. No, the PPTs of all the presentations we had, right? Yes, yes. Yes, no. Uh, some of the videos have reached me. I'll request a bit. It is there uh, in the Moodle, I think. Uh, Karnataka. Yes. Yes, some uh, of them are there the in the Moodle. Are there. Yeah, some of them are there in the Moodle, okay, but uh, not all, I think. Videos uh, are also coming. Uh, yes, yes. So, videos also, uh, no, I'm collecting it from Evin and I'll uh, uh, put it to our uh, WhatsApp group. Right. So, okay, so sir. Better download it because these are uploaded on Google Drive. So uh, if it is removed from that Google Drive, you will not be able to see it again because these are uh, links that we will be putting. Uh, okay, yeah. so you will share the links with us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Once all I share, I will let the you know. links also, sir. All the links, they like uh, Prezi.com, uh, all that, like links also together, we can get really yes, 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 As surely. well as the PPT. Yes, surely. So whatever whatever I get hold of, I will share it with you. Don't, don't worry, right? So, thank uh, you, sir. Uh, sir, we, we have we have got a uh, quiz in our uh, Karnataka dot uh, there. Uh, we have already uh, participated the quiz, but there is a MCQ test. I think it will be held on the final day, 28th, first hour. Yeah, there is a there is another MCQ test uh, that is uh, going to happen on um, I think first hour, second second session. I think right. Uh, it will take only 10 28. minutes. Uh, 28th, 28th. Uh, uh, second Thank session uh, that is main mcq test right <laughs> yeah exactly. uh, and uh, uh, once that is over we will have uh, a session on uh, chat gpt as well yeah 
Okay. Uh, so, so what quiz, uh, sir Suman? Uh, what what quiz were you talking about? No, ma'am. There are two quiz. Uh, one is the quiz posted by uh, the IT uh, for change yes, that in our Moodle course. That is, um, the Karnataka login ID is there, na, ma'am. There. And that we have yes, to do yes, compulsorily, okay. right? Uh, uh, it is just to check, you no, know, uh, what and all we have done and all. Right. Then there is uh, another formal test, uh, MCQ test that will happen on 28th, which yeah, will be that done is by on the 28th. Uh, okay, 28th. I'll check the quiz that we. Uh, yeah, uh, that it, it, is, it will be uh, done by or it is being conducted by HRDC. Right. I think it is on uh, during the second session. First session we have we have some lecture. I think second session it will oh, take 10 minutes only for that. And after that, we'll have another uh, discussion on GPT, uh, chat GPT. Yes, right. Thank you. Okay. That is what has been communicated as of now. Yeah. Then uh, after which, uh, maybe some of you can already start preparing for some songs, etc. We may have, uh, no, once our coordinators are also joins in, uh, Shivadas and sir, maybe we can have some uh, discussions and uh, some of you can sing, some of you can dance. Right, uh, <laughs> we are in front of camera, so we can see. <laughs> right, so uh, some of you can say some jokes. <laughs> okay, then anything else? Okay. No, sir. Thank you. Sir. Enjoy yourself, okay. sir. Ma'am, Pinky, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you ma'am. Uh, yes. All the best for other eight persons. Yeah, sure. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you, All of you. Sir. Okay, yeah. happy weekend. Yeah. Just enjoy. Don't spend happy. sleepless happy. nights happy on weekend. this model. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay then bye 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 sir bye bye sir thank you all thank you bye 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 bye, bye. bye.